Hey everyone and welcome. As you can see today we're playing Willie Morgan and the Curse of Bone Town. It's kind of I guess nostalgic for me because it's I believe it's like a point and click game and I used to throw up on those. So this is one of the few that actually will show up on my <laughs> OBS. So let's go ahead and start a new game. Look at that. Graphics are really nice. The little airplane. I did it. My research is finished at last. Tomorrow I'll submit it to the professor. It will be a big day. Tomorrow is the anniversary of Dad's disappearance, too. It's already been ten years. Henry Morgan, the famous archaeologist, vanished under mysterious circumstances. This was the most recurring headline in the newspapers. I'm sorry, Dad. I tried really hard to understand where your final research took you. A hello to Mom, and then to sleep. Unfortunately, she can't be here tomorrow. Her latest expedition in the Amazon is taking longer than expected. Let's hope she receives my email. Good night, Mom. So, we have to find her dad? There's usually something about someone dies, we have to find them. Find Coming. a family member. This postman believes that everything he delivers is urgent. One can never even get a few hours rest. It's only 2 p.m. The day has only just started. <laughs> 2 p.m. It only started. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Bills. A letter from me? Nobody writes to me usually. It's dated July 25th, 2008. The same day my father disappeared. Dear Willie, it's Dad. If you received this letter, it means that my mission didn't go according to plan. I can't linger or I would put your mother and you in danger. You must go to the old inn in Bone Town as soon as possible. Room 09, but never trust anyone. Everything begins there in the warmth of a friendly place. Love, Dad. What? Hmm. It certainly isn't a prank. The style and handwriting are my father's. But why have the letters been I've looked for clues to his disappearance for ten years. And I even got a letter from him. I must leave for Bone Town immediately. I'll have to manage somehow, because Mom is still traveling. But Bone Town isn't far. With a little money and a bike, I can get there in a few hours. I saw the bike around the house. There's even some money around here somewhere. Off we go. Perfect. I already found the bike. Or rather, what's left of it. To leave, I'll need all the other parts, too. Oh, gosh. <laughs> But why are you going all the way back to your room? Hi, I'm Willie. Would you like to take a short tutorial to learn how to handle things in my world? Sure, Willie. Good. Let's do a quick <laughs> overview of how to play. Okay. Let's start with the basics. By holding down the space bar or clicking on the icon at the top left, you can highlight the objects with which you can interact. Try to see what happens. Great. As you can see, the hot spots are marked with an icon like this one. It's a bullseye. If you want to pick up an item, use it, talk to someone, or speed up the dialogue, you can do so by pressing the left mouse button. Now try to pick up the object you spotted a few moments ago. Okay, it's a little list of parts we need to find. Good. Now let's focus on the inventory. You can open and close it by using the mouse wheel or pressing the I key. 
Give it a try. Very good. You can examine an item both in the inventory and in your surroundings by pressing the right mouse button. Reopen the inventory and examine the item you just collected. So the frame was downstairs. So I need a seat. Cards. The bell. That is a lot of parts. Okay. Perfect. We have completed the tutorial. Here's a last bit of useful information. You can open the pause menu by pressing escape or by clicking on the menu icon at the top right. Finally, by double clicking with the mouse on the directional arrows, you can immediately move from one place to another. If you are uncertain of what to do, you can access the help section included in the pause menu. Let's start. Collecting everything found lying about is a real fixation. Essential for traveling. Yay! We can probably jerry rig that. I need a ladder to get to it. Ugh. Empty. I could fill it up with the stuff inside the boxes around the corner in the corridor. Too many drawers. I don't have enough clothes to fill them all. Well, we gotta check them all. That's probably up. Yep, see, they there's... will come in handy. I'll take them with me. Submit it. Here they are. Oh, it's only the first three. Huh, money? Its contents could come in handy. Oh, we have to break it. It won't come off. It looks like it's bolted on. It's a memento. Best leave it here. Et voila! Where's his laptop? I was gonna use a chair for the ladder, but let's take this. No key. way! If we start by taking a key at the beginning of the adventure, what will happen next? Uh, we can just store it. <laughs> Why can't we just take it? Okay, well, so we have to find something to break the piggy bank. Oh, there's a whole room in here. I thought we were just whooping in the window. If only there was a rubber chicken. But these could come in handy too. Yeah, y'all. Do we get to keep those for forever? Or do we have to keep refining them? Too many things. I couldn't take them all with me. I feel more at ease taking it with me. <laughs> Plunger. <laughs> So it looks like we gotta use it somehow. It's always good to have one for a pleasant bike ride. Why do you leave your bike in pieces? That's what I don't I'd get. better take only what is strictly necessary. That's what kind of confuses me, but okay. I guess it does make it harder to steal. <laughs> the painting is really beautiful, but so is its setting. Uh oh. I will leave it here as a warning to future generations. They're gonna have a stopped up toilet. <laughs> no tub. <laughs> if somebody threw something in there, it means it wasn't meant to come out again. Radioactive chemicals? What? Why do they have radio chemical? Like I ran out of it this morning. I meant to go shopping, but my plans fell through. Why do you have a garbage <laughs> can radioactive chemicals? I prefer to leave it here. Otherwise, I won't be able to monitor the phases of my puberty. That's like... There's a lot of stuff in here, but it's no use to me. Let's take it. One never knows what might come next. need something to get the plug out. I don't want to get wet. There isn't a drop left. I used it all for the bath I was planning to take. How could you take... Oh. I see no alternative. 
Now you'll discover the huge power of a plunger. He has a bottomless uh, side bag. And why are you putting no... <laughs> you! <laughs> a huge plunger bag in your bag. Nice work. Now I can safely leave home. Well, look what was hiding in the bathtub. A rubber ducky? It's certainly a part of the bicycle. I'm amazed by the extremely intelligent use I made of it. Oh, it's a gear. Okay. I guess I should close these, you know. Oh. Can we close the door? See what's behind the door? Oh! Yes, but there's nothing there. <laughs> My mother took almost everything with her for this journey. I better not turn it off. Mom must have had her reasons for leaving it like this. At least I think so. So both parents were archaeologists. Admire my physical prowess. And they just leave their kids or kid alone. I don't need a map to get to Bone Town. I already know where it is. Moreover, this isn't a map of our state. It could contain something important that would be of use to me. Oh, are we supposed to smash it? To get the gear out? Best not to add to the problems this object already has. It could contain something important that would be of use to me. Um, I guess. Let's see what's wrong with it. Yeah, just take it apart. Okay. Look what was inside it. Maybe that's why it wasn't working. Replacing the internal alarm with the bicycle bell might not have been a brilliant idea. I think I'll need it shortly. And it's still broken. <laughs> I don't need a broken alarm clock for my trip. Yeah, because you just strange broke object. It. Let's see what happens when I pull one of the branches. I thought so. Ingenious. Typical of my mother. I bet she designed it. Look at the nice ring inside it. Can I take it? Looks it looks ancient. And there's also an engraving inside. Difficult to make out. S C Arvis Mag A. I think I know what it is. I'll put it in the bag. It might come in handy. We just took mom's expensive diamond ring. I mean, yeah, it can be used to cut like glass, right, and stuff, but I've already read them all. Hope we don't lose it. It's not about bragging to friends. It's the symbol of my family, and I'm proud of it. Be proud of who you are. You go. See, I can't close the doors. Let's go downstairs. I don't need a painting to remind me of my grandfather. That's Grandpa. I like where it is. Why does this dog have such a huge neck? <laughs> It works perfectly. I would only run the risk of damaging it. Oh, I need to get There's the There's information money. that could be useful. Um. Here are a few notes I've written down lately. Fix mom's alarm clock. And there's more. Uh. Here are a few notes I've written down lately. Buy new sun lotion. And there's more. Here are a few notes I've written down lately. Save money! And there's more. Okay. Here are a few notes I've written down lately. Return books to the library. And there's more. Am I supposed to click for every single one? Here are a few notes I've written down lately. Read instructions to assemble bicycle. And there's more. Here are a few notes I've written down lately. Never leave bath full of water before going out. And there's more. Oh my god, look at this kitchen! <laughs> he doesn't 
Does he like never do dishes? Here are a few notes I've written down lately. Water doesn't work metal loose. It makes it rust. And there's more. I would like to return it among the boxes stacked in the closet, but I'd better leave it here. Here are a few notes I've written down lately. Important bracket maintenance. Keep nice and smooth. And there's more. Here are a few notes I've written down lately. Tidy boxes and closet. Here are a few notes I've written down lately. Fix mom's alarm clock. And there's more. Okay, now it's starting to repeat. I can't. When mom leaves for a trip, she always turns off the gas to avoid any unpleasant surprises. She always says that for a kid my age, the microwave is more than enough. I don't think the incident last year helped. <laughs> Let's just say that calling the fire department about a burned pan can't exactly be considered my final. Oh, God. <laughs> and this, my mother used to hide little surprises for me. Let's see if I'm still lucky. Oh, she left money. Would you look at this? It looks like there's a little emergency money in the bottom of the tins. There's no greater emergency than this. Three dollars. That's quite a bit points. of money. Once the piggy bank is opened, I could have a small fortune. For a kid. I could do with something to cook. Others use it to cook sweet little furry animals. I prefer heating up something already cooked. You cook furry animals in the microwave? What? It doesn't look like it, but there's a logical order. If I start moving everything, the whole day will be affected by it. Pizza rolls. <gasps> Shanghai noodles. He has notes. Pepperoni and pineapple pizza is my favorite. Maybe I might eat a slice later for a snack. No thanks. I never eat between meals. Shin noodles? What? I can't take it. It serves an important function in this fridge. I used it temporarily to reinforce one of the shelves. If I pull it out, everything will fall down. I first need to fix the shelf. I need something to secure it. Just what I needed. Yay! I couldn't go anywhere without it. I already had breakfast. I already had breakfast. Not now. I have more important things to do. He just said he wanted to eat, didn't he? How do I leave the fridge? Okay. I've already read them all. See if this rubber hammer might come in handy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not do that anymore. Really? It was a rubber hammer. Oops. <laughs> it's a present for my mother, and I could ruin it. I want to open it with the least possible damage. Um. It's a present for my mother, and I could ruin it. I want to open it with the least possible damage. Could be a solution, but I don't have the right grip. Right grip? Well, well maybe. It's a present for my mother, and I could ruin it. I want to open it with the least possible damage. to get up there I need a ladder to get to it do I really need a ladder or just something to pull it down uh, 
let's start assembling the bike. There's still something missing. Oh, can I go outside then? Oops. All I need now is ready to go transportation. All I need now is ready to go transportation. Yeah, see. Can't leave it without all my stuff. So I'm missing a ladder somewhere. <laughs> Excuse me. It works perfectly. I would only run the risk of damaging it. Do I need to check behind mom's door? No, there is a mirror back there. Best not to. <laughs> oh, maybe if I lay, pull the drawers out? Empty. I could fill it up with the stuff inside the boxes around the corner in the corridor. Too many drawers. I don't have enough clothes to fill them all. Better shut the closet door so I can get a better grip. It won't be an ISO 9000 certified ladder, but it will do. Got you, wheel. Gray cells, man. Gray cells. <laughs> Yay! How is he putting that in his bag? <laughs> it's like, you know, well, the never-ending bag thing that we got from Harry Potter. Now, could be a solution, but I don't have the right grip. So, can we combine? There are several ways to use it. That is certainly not one I had in mind. There are several ways to use it. That is certainly not one I had in mind. Hmm. Well, hopefully I can get the bike down. <laughs> There's still something missing. Oh, we need a second wheel. And another clog. And we can't go outside yet. It's essential to remember the title and the author's name. It's essential to remember the title. I don't think it would be useful to me. I've already read them all. Yeah, so I've looked at everything in here. Put everything in here. I promise when I get back, I'll sort everything in alphabetical or chronological order, just as I've been doing for the last year. And that's everything in here.
Oh, we gotta... It won't come off. It looks like it's bolted on. Bolted? What page means? The screws right. don't turn. They got rusty with time. Uh... It has to be liquid in order to use it. It won't come out of the bottle otherwise. So which means I need to warm it up in the microwave. Giotto always had one too. Or so they say. Wow! Now in your inventory, you have items that you can combine. Doing so is very simple. Open the inventory, select an item with the left mouse button, then select a second item. If successful, wait a few moments and you'll see these items combine and a brand new one will appear. This will certainly be very useful. Try to combine the item you just found with another item you already have in your inventory. Yep, the one that me. The lead is missing. Wood. And it came to pass that my criminal career began. Which means now I need to use that on the big Excellent game. idea. That way I can open it without causing irreparable damage. I wonder how much I've managed to save in the last few months. Uh, I expected more. <laughs> all that noise and all I got is this lot of gears? I don't even know how they ended up in here. So there's no money, just... It has already yielded all it can. Just... <laughs> it just has gears, no money. <laughs> Too risky. There's a risk that the container may explode or melt. I'll need a less powerful heat source. Mm, upstairs at the incense? It has to be liquid in order to use it. It won't come out of the bottle otherwise. <gasps> oh no no no, mom's lamp, mom's lamp. She left it on. It would be a good idea if my mother wasn't fixated with LED. Basically, even if I put my hand on it, I can't feel any change in temperature. Maybe it would work with another lamp. Oh, my lamp. Excellent. The heat from the lamp is melting the oil. It's ready to use now. All that just to get a bike wheel. The rusty screws are loosening up. I also finished the suntan oil. I better leave the empty bottle here. Now it works. Bottle oil, kid. No way. If we start by taking a key at the... There's still something missing. Holy crap. I've got the bar. Huh. <laughs> Do I have to actually put everything on? Another now? part. Almost ready. Uh, okay, so now I just have to put them I all on. I need a few more parts first. So you can say that after every single one. Perfect. A few more parts. Very good. There's still something missing. It's not time yet. I don't know how to connect it. Three, four, so now I need to put the other wheel. Making progress. I can glimpse its shape. Bell cogs. I'd really love to try it. I think there's still something missing. How professional. Nearly there. Nearly there. Not long to go. It's not time yet. 
Not long to go. Nearly there. They connect perfectly. The bike is ready. I just have to take it, and that's it. Bone Town, here I come! <laughs> bike in his bag? Let's go. You don't need a key? I probably need to like go back and why is he going in circles? I hope I need a key. I'm not getting back. Danger, do not cross. It felt like something from my bike was missing. I forgot to mount the brakes in my hurry to leave. Fortunately, I escaped without any major damage. Better take what's left. I'm especially sad about the bike. I was very fond of it. Uh, cleared out my inventory for the next chapter. Ugh, so I have to re-get all those tools and stuff. So we can't go that way. This looks nice. I can't go back. First of all, it's night. And I don't want to walk all the way. Welcome to Boat Town. Creepy. I could pick all the weeds and try to fix it, but I'm not here for that reason. Dead man in. So I can go there. Left or right. Or into this inn, but I need to. Better go. leave it here. Other travelers might need it. I didn't want to take it, I just wanted to read it. <laughs> Better leave it here to remind all Bone Town tourists of the beauty of Lafitte Park. Look at this, the look of the glass and stuff. Today's special pigeon pudding drowned in grog, hardtack and fat fried in grog. Grog cake? It looks like a diet rich with fiber and carbs. Better leave it for the next customer. Good evening, my good man. Good evening, boy. How can I help you? I need a place where I can stay tonight. It's your lucky day, boy. The Dead Man Inn is the best in the business. Very good. I almost feel at home. So we want room nine. Are there any rooms available? I'm happy to check, but I have to warn you we are in peak season. Hmm. In this one, we still have to clean up bloodstains. Room 08 is already occupied by me. I just have number 09 and 10 left. Bloodstains? <laughs> then 09 would be perfect. That is also my lucky number. In that case, I can't do anything other than give you room 10. But I just told you I'd like to have 09. Everybody likes number 9. If I gave you that room, the next customer could only take number 10, which nobody likes, so they would leave. I could leave too, since I'm not pleased with that. Of course. Indeed, you have the look of someone who can go and choose another inn. For your information, Dead Man Inn is the most comfortable, as well as the only inn in a 40-kilometer area. You can also go find yourself another inn and come back tomorrow morning. I'm always here. So, room 09 or 10? I really want 09. Very well. Then I have another interesting offer for you. 
You can choose number 10, <laughs> or you can take the door across the room and spend the night outdoors. Hmm, I'd say room 10 has suddenly become my favorite. Yeah, Do you so have the money for the ten. accommodation? Yes, I think I can pay for one night in this amazing resort. I don't know what a resort is, but it is sufficient that you have the money to pay. Here's the money. Kid, this isn't much. It will only be good enough for one night. I think that's enough. Good. To whom do I have the honor of speaking? Morgan. Willie Morgan. Morgan. That name sounds familiar to me. Have you already been in our lovely little town? Many years ago, but I was very young. Maybe you remember my dad. Henry Morgan. Henry Morgan, you said? Something springs to mind, but I think a long time must have passed. <laughs> yes, a long time. I'd say ten years since he disappeared. And why do we have the pleasure of seeing you again in Bone Town? For the anniversary of my father's disappearance. Today it's ten years exactly. There's always a good reason to stay at the Dead Man Inn of Bone Town. I have no doubt about it. Now I have to get back to my job. Help yourself to the key to room number ten. Thank you. Once you are settled in your room, you'll find a pre-printed form. I need to complete the check-in. Bring it back as soon as you have filled it out. All right, thank you. Thanks, and goodbye. <sighs> I have no idea how to use a quill. I can hardly write even with a normal ballpoint pen. You chose room number 10. It's the only key you can take. Technically, it wasn't exactly a choice. It doesn't change the fact that you can only take the key <laughs> to room number 10. All right. <sighs> so I have to find a way to sneak into room 9. Uh oh. Hello, boss. It's me. You won't believe this. Henry Morgan's son just showed up here. Henry's son? Why did he come here? He hasn't said too much about the reason for his visit. What do you want me to do? Do I warn Bob? Yes. Standard procedure. <gasps> okay. As soon as the kid comes back here, Bob will take a good look at the belongings of the young Morgan. Sure, boss. I'll keep you posted. See you later. So he's keeping me out of room now for a reason. If I take it down, the innkeeper would surely notice. Those eyes make me feel quite uncomfortable. I don't need it. Authorized room A. Better not go inside. If the innkeeper finds out, I'd be concerned for my safety. Oh, it's Ken! <laughs> Surprised they were able to use their... It's locked. Oh. I'd rather not touch that substance. It's kind of creepy. I'd rather admire it on this wall. There's no need to take it with me. Locked. So I wonder if these are the voice actors for this game. I want the other guests to enjoy these works as well. I'd rather leave it where it is. It really belongs here. I wouldn't want to upset the symmetry of this place. I guess it leads outside, but right now I have other priorities. I can't open it. It's locked. So all my money is gone. It looks like a communication system. Better complete the check-in. I wouldn't want the innkeeper to accuse me of using a service that still doesn't belong to me. A peculiar scent. I wouldn't say it's good, but at least it adds a different touch to the place. So, soap. Something with a smell? It's summer. It doesn't make any sense to heat up an already warm room. It's summer. It doesn't make any sense to heat up an already warm room. First, I have to fill in this form, and then I can use the services of the room. 
I haven't got a pen with me and can't see one around. Better go back to the innkeeper and ask for more info. I don't think I should touch anything. That yellow tape does not bode well. Thanks, and goodbye. <sighs> I'm back with the form you talked about, but I haven't got a pen with me and I still have to fill it out. Doesn't matter. Give it to me so I can write the essential data down. Thank you. Name and surname. Your memory is a bit spotty. I'm Willie Morgan. Sorry, kid. You know how it is. Age plays shameful tricks. You seem like a different person now kinder and more friendly. Maybe I left you with a bad impression before. I'd like to make things right now. Uh, Did you hear that too? Uh, hear what? There are a lot of noises in this inn. But we didn't leave anything upstairs. Did you hear it now? It's probably some little animal. The one who made that sound must be a big one. And how? What now? Did you hear that noise again? Yes, but I don't think you should be worried. It's normal. In fact, I think it's finished now. How can you be so sure? It happens all the time. As soon as you open a door, drafts let the wind through and it does funny things. Okay, what else do you need? I'd say I'm okay with this. I have everything I need. Only name and surname? Here in Bone Town, we need very little information. The rest will fall right into place. Okay, now I must get back to work. Me too. I'm very busy. With what? Okay, thank you. Um. Um, do I go outside? Just explore. I'd rather not go around the city at night. You never know. I'd rather wait for daylight or. Okay. It's locked. On the key, there's a big tent. I don't think it's a map. Okay. Can I clean this stain up that's no longer there? <laughs> and my... Oh my god! And to think that, according to the innkeeper, it was just a little animal. Luckily, I always keep the important things with me. Never trust anyone. Dad was right. I better warn the innkeeper. What the hell happened here? <laughs> Don't be sarcastic. I guess a robber came in and trashed the whole room. I cannot be 100% sure, but all clues lead to that. Have they taken anything valuable from you? I have all my valuable things on me. Better this way. The dead man in is the most comfortable in the area. I guess I could lie, but, but uh insurance in the event of theft, disappearance, or death. I was lucky it was just a theft. Unfortunately, there have been many such cases in Bone Town lately. Seeing the current condition of this room, can I have room 09 now? I already explained that I can't. I'm awaiting a huge influx of tourists in the next few days, and I need that room. If you could wait just a few minutes, I will clean everything up like it was before. Then, as compensation, I won't make you pay from tomorrow night on. Your kindness astounds me. Seems I can't do anything other than accept it. Wise choice. Now, if you can clear out, I have to clean up the room. If you give me the key back, I'll clean up everything and give it back to you at the entrance. I'll take a moment. Using the back door, I'll be at the entrance before you arrive. Thanks, my good man. How is he going to get there before me? 
I guess it leads outside, but right now I have other priorities. Well, if I take forever, yeah. <laughs> hey, and the stain. Oh, yeah, there it is. It's all there. Have you already cleaned up the room? Yes, everything's in order again. Here's the key. Okay, thanks. Does he have a twin? Is Bob a twin? And you have all the services of the dead man in at your disposal. Like what, for example? The most important one is room service. And following that, the do not disturb. How does the room service work? When the customers call, it is the duty of every good innkeeper to answer. I try to be as fast as possible so as to not leave my position untended. If you don't see me at the counter, it's because some impediment forced me to use the back door. There are a lot of steps to get there. Going down is not a problem and speeds up my movement, but climbing really slows me down. Thanks, that seems clear to me. What's the Do Not Disturb? It's this amazing object. Only paper of the highest quality for our customers. With the writing, Do Not Disturb, in giant letters. You just have to hang this on the door. And I'll know you don't want to be disturbed. Here, take it. Hmm. Thanks, very useful. Thanks, and goodbye. So if I call him and make him climb the stairs, at least it was... leaves it unattended. But I have to use the back stairs somehow. It's locked. Hmm. Can't open it. It's locked. What now? I saw straight away that he was a troublemaker. Better go check. <sighs> I wonder when the cleaning lady is going to fix this disaster. Actually, I wonder when I last saw the cleaning lady. I don't think I've seen her at work since our discussion about the hourly rate. I'm sure she'll come back. Nobody can lose a dollar per hour. Better check what's happening. Can I help you? I'm testing the room service. Excellent service. Also the price. Maybe I forgot to tell you that after a certain number of calls, the extra fee is triggered. Cordial <laughs> as usual. If there's nothing else, I'll get back to my business. Everything's okay, thanks. I guess it leads outside, but right now I have other priorities. So how am I supposed to... Way to get to the window. I don't think I should touch anything. That yellow. Locked. Better not go inside. Better not waste it. It's locked. On the key, there's a big 10. I don't think it's a master key. Okay, yep, we're stuck. <laughs> I 
I'd rather not go around the city at night. You never know. I'd rather not go around... Yeah, there's nothing out here. I could pick all the weeds and try to fix it, but I'm not here for that. I'd rather wait for daylight. Yeah. Bartender, something strong, please. Sure, what can I get you? I imagine a fresh glass of plain water would work, or maybe a lemonade. But I doubt you could handle it. <laughs> mm, on second thought, I'm not that thirsty. It's better that way. Done everything there. Looked at everything here. so I can't do anything. <sighs> I wonder when the cleaning lady is going to fix it. Actually, I don't think I've seen her at work. So I'm sure she'll come back. Better Can I help you? I'm testing the room service. Excellent service. Also the price. Cordial as usual. If there's nothing else. Everything's okay. Yeah, so... I can't pull this and do anything because I can't go anywhere. A key opens a door. I don't think it has any other function. A key opens a door. I don't think it has any other function. can't. This lock is pretty solid. I can't. This lock is pretty solid. Better not waste it. Okay. <laughs> There's nothing to do. I can't. Can I lay down in bed and wait till morning somehow? I don't think I should touch anything. Better not. Better not waste it. I don't want to ruin it. It's the only clue I have to the dis- I don't want to ruin- <laughs> It's summer. Or not. Let's see if I can. Oh, we use it to Jimmy. Done. <laughs> this sign is useless now. I'd rather not take it with me. <sighs> All that for that. The things I have to do. Let's just hope it doesn't spill. I wouldn't really know what to use to get rid of this stink. So we are supposed to clean that stain out there ourselves?
Just how I pictured it. I'd rather not touch that. I'd rather not. I still don't know how to get rid of the stench of this thing from the bag. Very good. It looks like the cleaning has finally started. I'd rather not touch that. And now something classy. The contents haven't changed, but now there's a fresh musk ox scent. After all the work I did to give it a decent fragrance? No way. I'd rather not touch that substance. After all the work I did to give it a decent fragrance? No way. I don't want to take it with me. This seems to be the perfect place for it. So no. After all the work I did to give it a decent no way. Why won't it let me clean it? gets distracted and cleans it. Agile and silent like a ninja. I didn't even realize the cleaning lady finally got to work. Better not walk across it. I'd risk ruining this beautiful work. Oh, she also added the essence of musk ox. My favorite. I'll go around the back. That guy's gonna have to wait for a second. Ooh. Nobody's coming. Better go check the entrance. Yes, 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 hurry, hurry, hurry. I got a key to steal. This is my chance. Hurry, hurry. <laughs> Don't walk across the stain. Let's hope there won't be any other obstacles. At last! Okay, good. Doors closed. I don't trust taking them. There's the chance they could have been eaten by mice, the owner of the place, or the cleaning lady. In any of the three cases, I don't want to take them with me. So there's two eaten apples, cores. There's a bell. But it might call the room service dude. Everything starts there, in the warmth of a friendly place. I think my father meant warmth in a literal sense. Perhaps he hid something in the fireplace. Let's try searching there. What is this? This brick doesn't seem to be bonded to the fireplace like all the others. But I can't rip it out. It seems after all these years it is partially calcified back into the fireplace. I need something to grab hold of the cracks. Look what's inside. Somebody forgot a nail file. Better take it. It could yeah, come yeah. in handy. I don't need it right now. Tough luck! Fate really doesn't want me to take a shower or a bath. Tough luck! Fate really doesn't want me to take a shower or a bath. It seems to be working. I can take out the mortar holding the brick. Clever, a niche. Let's see what's inside. It looks like an old library card. It belonged to my father, Henry Morgan. Last read book, Properties of Concrete. What did my father want to tell me? It's a card for the Bone Town Library. The card belongs to Henry Morgan, my father. Let's see the last read book. Properties of Concrete. What was he working on in his final research? Better go to the library to make some inquiries. Hmm. After this amazing night, it'd be better to go back to my room and rest. First, I'd rather take the key to room 09 back to reception. I'd prefer to avoid having problems with the innkeeper. I have a really big day ahead of me tomorrow. I 
I think the time has come to find out what Dad was working on. I better check the library card again. I'm sure Dad left me some other clue. It's a card for the Bone Town Library. The card belongs... Let's see the last red book. Properties of Concrete. What was he working on in his final research? Better go to the library to make some inquiries. What happened to Bone Town in the last few years? Hmm. I remember when I used to come here that it was a nice little town. I think it's just progress. The young prefer to go try their luck elsewhere, apart from a few exceptions. It's just down to us from the older generation to keep up the honor of Bone Town by welcoming the incoming tourists with love and professionalism. I'd have to dispute that, actually. He was kind of like a pirate a little bit. Is the public library still there? Sure, boy. It's one of the crown jewels of Bone Town. At least it is according to what Margaret, our librarian, tells us. I'm simply reporting what's said because I personally never go to such places. <laughs> Strange. I would have bet the opposite. Could you tell me where it is? Turn left at the main square, just outside the door. Boy, if you don't want to get lost, use this. It's an old Bone Town postcard, but it was used as a tourist map during the Golden Years. It could be of use to orient yourself and move around Bone Town. Yay. Get a map. Thank you. Are you interested in something in particular? Just to reminisce a little bit. My father used to take me there all the time. Good morning, good sir. Good morning. How was your night? There were moments I thought I wouldn't survive. Then I saw a ray of light and realized that the worst was over. These are just some of the thrills you can experience here <laughs> at the Dead Man Inn. Not really. Thanks, and goodbye. <sighs> Better leave the key here. I don't know if I'll want to avail myself of this service again tonight. There you go. Now I can leave. And left. I don't want to take anything from here. It's still material in the public domain. Better not. It's like seeing my house. Even if I picked everything up, then it would suffer the same fate in our closet at home. <laughs> so it's open, bone town, library. I don't think I need this kind of souvenir. I don't need them. So that's the end. So if I go there, it's something there. Looks like there's a carnival or some stuff. Wait. I have no time to fix other people's things, too. Good morning. Good morning. How can I help you? What happened to Bone Town in the last few years? The city has always held more allure at the expense of the small villages, and Bone Town is no exception. All the young people left when they had the chance leaving the town in its current sorry state. It seems you know our town well, although you're so young. Can I ask your name? Of course. I'm Willie Morgan. I'm Margaret. Margaret Peach. But for those who attend the library, I'm just Margaret. Once there was a Morgan here in Bone Town too. Then he left, seeking fortune, and he became famous. But he never stopped coming back to visit Bone Town. I don't think you know him. You mean Henry Morgan by any chance? You surprise me, and that doesn't happen often. <laughs> the point is, I know him very well. Henry was my father. I'm sorry, kid. I didn't know. Don't worry. It's been a while. Ten years ago, right? How do you know that? Kid, I'm the librarian. I basically remember everything that is put on paper. And Henry used to come to our library a lot. 
Do you know anything about his disappearance? Unfortunately, only what I've read about. One night, he was here in Bone Town. The morning after, it's like he vanished into thin air. Mm -hmm. Not a clue, not a trace. No letters or anything that could have guided the search parties to a solution. Do you know what he was working on in his final research? I don't know. He always read a lot, basically all the tomes you can find in here. And sometimes, at his request, I had to order books from other cities as well. Do you know if he had enemies, maybe? Henry? Let's be serious. I think there were very few men as affable as him. As affable as him. Thanks for the information. Don't mention it. If I can be of any more help, just ask. Just ask. I need to consult one of your tomes. It's always a pleasure when someone wants to benefit from the services offered by our library. What are you looking for? Properties of concrete. Oh, what a surprise! It's not among the more popular in Bone Town. I guess this is the second consultation in more than ten years. Doesn't it get the attention it deserves? Here in Bone Town, people don't read a lot, especially a book like <laughs> that. I could never have managed to face it either. Where can I find it? I guess it's somewhere on the upper floor. You should recognize it easily. Thank you. Thanks, and goodbye. Thank you for visiting the Bone Town Library. If you need a specific book, you can ask me, Ms. Teach, or just Margaret. Thanks, I'll keep that in mind. Teach. How? Should I remove everything on top of it? There's no time. And above all, I wouldn't know where to put all these books. Hmm, this lock is peculiar, to say the least. I'm pretty sure that I'd need a special key if I wanted to open it. Uh, of course. It's stuck under the huge number of books on the desk. I must find a way to free it. How? Should I remove everything on top of it? There's no time. And above all, I wouldn't know where to put all these books. It doesn't it. work. A peculiar key is needed, or something that could force this lock. Thanks, and goodbye. Thank you for visiting the Bone Town Library. If you need a specific... Thanks, I'll keep that in mind. It's not my priority right now. I have no time to fix. I'm not doing any research in particular right now. So why can't I ask her about the key? What's a museum? It wouldn't be nice if I took the only street sign for the local museum. I have a strong feeling that if I did it, I'd put the entire town economy in danger. And Bone Town doesn't seem like it's experiencing its golden age. I don't think that dragging this barrel of over a hundred liters would benefit me a lot. It's like an ancient artifact. In poor condition, touching it would surely mean damaging it, even though time has already done its part. Look at this chicken. It's a museum first or the bar. Museum. Oh, I need a jack. I don't know how, but I hope it might come in handy. At first glance, it appears to weigh over a hundred kilos. Surely working out in the gym made me stronger, but I don't think it performed any miracles. <laughs> There's a sign with the word museum, which rules out the possibility that it's a library. I'll go back there later. Now I have to find a way to obtain the volume Properties of Concrete from the library. Also, oh, wouldn't let me go in there. So, well, let me go I don't here. think there are any books here. Yep. Even if it's battered, I think I can make out the word restaurant. It's not time to enter there yet. I need to use the clue left by my dad first.
I don't think I should use it on the book. Let's try. It worked! Check out what we have here. Let's see what it is. Bish. It's another letter from my father. It's dated July 22nd, 2008. Earlier than the other one. There's also a piece of paper that seems more ancient. But I can't figure out what it is. Better take a look right now. If Dad did all this so that I'd find it, there must be something important. I hope it's you, Willie who's reading this letter. Otherwise, all my effort will have been in vain. My latest research confirmed that Captain Kidd and his crew have found a huge treasure. Okay. I don't know where they hid it, but they drew a map which was divided between the members of the crew. Before his execution, Kidd hid his piece of the map in the cell. I managed to find it still intact. This means the map was never put back together and that the treasure still lay somewhere forgotten. Hmm. You will find a piece of the map together with this letter. It is, of course, unusable without all the other pieces. From my research, it seems that the rest of the crew took refuge in Bone Town, awaiting the return of their captain. Ah, oh, that's why they all look piratey. After years spent looking in every nook, every book of the t of the time, I finally discovered the, the list of the crew. Edward Drake, woo Drake, Charles Teach, so the librarian's ancestor, John Roger, Tom Rayleigh, Chris Every, Rock Lafitte, Walter Fly, Eddie Bellamy. Find the missing pieces and reach the treasure before someone else does. I can't say anything else. Time is short. I feel like I'm being tracked. I don't know if we will ever meet again. <gasps> Love your dad, Henry. So we have one. Captain Kidd. Oh. So now we need to get eight more pieces. That's a lot. Now I understand what the piece of paper was that I found with the letter. Dad always performed great feats, but I never imagined he was looking for Kidd's treasure. It has always been said that it was basically a legend. <sighs> I don't remember the complete story exactly. But maybe the librarian can help me. And I have a list of names. Better start asking information of the townsfolk without attracting too much attention. I don't need my father's old library card anymore. Even if someone found it, it would be useless. I have the letter and the piece of map belonging to my dad. So I'm just gonna empty up my inventory. <laughs> Am I wrong, or did you tell me your name is Margaret Teach? That's correct. Do you know a man named Charles Teach? Your question surprises me. How do you know my great-great-grandfather? I'm doing some research on the genealogy of Bone Town, and I stumbled upon the Teach family. Yes, it's been several generations now since the Teaches settled in Bone Town. What can you tell me about Charles Teach in particular? He was the one who brought the name Teach here to Bone Town. But of his past, little is known. My <laughs> great grandma told me that he was a former fisherman with a knack for books. This fisherman. library is a donation he made to the city of Bone Town just before he died. After he arrived here in Bone Town, he devoted himself exclusively to reading, and many of these books were bought directly by him. He had so many of them that he basically founded the town library, which then became the family business for the following generations, too. And he didn't leave anything else apart from the books? All he left is stored on the upper floor, but it's mostly junk. The real treasure was his books. There's also an old crate without a key, but it looks empty. It's where the map piece is. Do you by any chance know the story of Captain William Kidd? Sure, it is mostly a legend. In the golden era of piracy, Kidd stood out for his endeavors, if you could call them that. The endeavors of a pirate aren't exactly heroic most of the time. Anyway, his ship, the Adventure Galley, was supposedly filled with treasures when it suddenly disappeared. A few years later, in 1701, Kidd was captured and executed, but his ship and the crew were never found. What do you think happened? What always happened at that time. Kidd and his crew squandered all the loot, and to cover their tracks, 
they sold or even burned the ship. <laughs> After this story, Kid became legendary. Thank you. You're a librarian. I haven't figured out that you... Ancient Grandpa was Thanks. part of his Goodbye. crew. Thank you for visiting the Bone Town <laughs> Library. If you need a specific book, you can ask me, Miss Teach, or just Margaret. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. Uh-oh. Hmm. Very strange. I have the feeling I'm being watched. Because you were. You never know what can happen. Did you guys catch that? There's a guy peeking on the right. Suspicious character. There's something written. Free. Maybe it will come in handy. Go ahead and take it. It will open both your heart and your mind. Some stickers to support Tom Rayleigh's cause are included as well. We also need your help to make this artist known. Thanks. Rayleigh. Prisons, the story of Tom Rayleigh. Hmm. Now I know why this book is free. It seems more like a series of rambling stories instead of a serious biography. Maybe there's just one bit of plausible information. Here it says that Tom Rayleigh's past is dark. He was repeatedly put in prison in Bone Town for being drunk and disorderly. The stickers are nice, but the book is useless to me. I'd rather put this book back in its place. Probably someone else will find it more interesting. <laughs> um. I already have a memory that may never be erased from my mind. I don't think I'll need that, too. Looks like the bartender guy. It's part of the museum exhibition. Better leave it where it is. Uh, what do you think you're doing? Have you seen what is written on the envelope? It's the property of Tom Rayleigh's heirs. But I'm one of his great-grandsons. I'm a researcher, as well as a capable artist. Bring me concrete proof and you can have the envelope. Until then, the envelope will remain museum property. Good, good morning. morning. Uh, good morning. Um, can I do something for you? I am very busy and I'd hate to lose time. Busy doing what? Oh, uh, I don't think you'd understand. You don't look like you have an open mind like us artists. Come on, share it with me. Um, uh, <laughs> no. Please, I'm very curious. Uh, no. Okay, I don't think it was that important anyway. Um, not important. Are you kidding me? <laughs> My research is, uh, um, of vital importance for Bone Town and its history. What kind of research? Um, I'm trying to clear the name of one of the most controversial figures of Bone Town. Who are we talking about? Tom Rayleigh. He spent almost his whole life in here. Was he a researcher too? Uh, no. Uh, this was a prison once. They say that Rayleigh, because of his alcohol problems, spent most of his sober time in here. In every town there's a drunkard. Um, no. Tom wasn't a drunkard. His artistic life was very troubled. <laughs> My research proved that. Have you already done other research on Rayleigh? Um, yes. Uh, you can find everything about it in the book I wrote on Rayleigh. You can take a copy if you like. Already done. Very illuminating. Really? What passage impressed you most? Hmm. When he talks about his family life? Here in Bone Town, he never had a family. But everybody considered him part of the city. Just what I meant. How come you're so obsessed with Tom Rayleigh? Um, mm -hmm. it's not that I'm obsessed. Tom Rayleigh was an artist just like me. Some of the objects in here are his works. But, as with all misunderstood geniuses, he had a devil inside. 
Um, some people claim that, in the midst of a drunken stupor, he could produce his best works. But once he was sober, he destroyed those works because he deemed them not to have been done by him. And I, being a misunderstood genius myself, now want to clear his image. Hmm. If you say so. And how do you think you can do that? Uh, I'm trying to recover all the works left by the master. And in the meantime, I'm tracing Rayleigh's great-grandsons by delivering the only thing he left here in Bone Town. His dignity? Uh, no. A toothbrush? Um, don't joke about that. We artists are not interested in personal care. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. I'm talking about that envelope. What are the contents of the envelope? Um, I don't know. It's an official document classified by the police and kept here in the museum. It says for Rayleigh's heirs. I can't open it. It would go against my artist code of ethics. And probably against some laws as well. Um, yes. I'm looking for Rayleigh's heirs to deliver it. So I might know what happened to Rayleigh once he left Bone Town too. Are you the museum janitor? Uh, uh, no, <laughs> I'm the curator, as well as the only artist in Bone Town. Remarkable. Goodbye. Um, yes, goodbye. So, uh, make a false proof of heritage. <laughs> It would be better to ask the owner before taking a seat. I can't open this case without the right key. The lock seems to be tamper-proof. So the, there's a map of the wonton? Or the f <laughs> fortune cookie? Good morning. Good morning, and welcome to the one-eyed Jack of the Bellamy family. Bellamy family. Yep, that's another one. I glimpsed the menu outside the club. What's your specialty? Chicken, kid. Delicious, free-range chicken. Only chicken? Absolutely, kid. Chicken is our main ingredient. Healthy, genuine, and it's not fattening, so you can eat as much as you want. We Bellamy's have invented more than 100 recipes to serve it with. A diverse menu, then. How's business going? Money is not important to the Bellamy's. Our forefather, Eddie Bellamy, left us a little nest egg to pursue our family mission. And what would that be? Find the Chosen One. Chosen One? What do you mean by Chosen One? The family legend says that Eddie Bellamy, progenitor of the Bellamy's, learned every recipe on how to cook chicken. But his efforts in the kitchen seemed not to be appreciated by customers, who considered his recipes mere common chicken. Bumpkins! So he created the only meal that was not chicken-based, the Bellamy cookie. The patrons seemed to be thrilled by the extraordinary innovation, but Eddie, given the indifference his cooking received before that, imposed one condition. Only the chosen one could taste the cookie from the Bellamy recipe. And since then, from generation to generation, the search has kept going. Which cookie are we talking about? The sacred cookie, contained in that glass case, built to keep its fragrance intact. How long has it been in that case? Since the day it was baked by Eddie Bellamy. And according to legend, it seems Eddie found a recipe for a pastry that could last for centuries without losing its fragrance. Do you mean <laughs> that in all these years, nobody was able to earn the right? Absolutely not. That is the original cookie. Never has another one been baked. How can you recognize the chosen one? That'll be the only one who can pass the test. What test? The menu, kid. The menu. Only the worthy will listen to the entire menu without blinking an eye. And at that point, he'll have earned the cookie. Along with honor and fame. Very epic. Where does the test take place? At the table. When you feel ready, take your seat. And we'll see if you might be the chosen one. But don't get your hopes up. We're extremely selective. Are you a great-grandson of Eddie Bellamy? Absolutely, kid. 
My great, 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 great grandfather was the best cook of the seven seas. He was the one who founded the first One-Eyed Jack. And since then, we've come a long way. Do you mean that you've introduced new original recipes? Oh, absolutely not. Nobody can improve Grandfather Eddie's recipes. A distant cousin tried to do that, starting his own company, the Mix Something. But I haven't heard about it <laughs> since, so I don't think he had our luck. Surely not your luck, yeah. Like McDonald's? No. Hmm. Do you mean that you've expanded all over the world? Absolutely not. Bone Town has always been the one and only place where you can taste one of our delicacies. I don't get it, but it's okay anyway. I see there's a free table. Can I take a seat? It depends. On what? That table is reserved for those who want to test themselves. Can you explain better? Our family, the Bellamy's, have always looked for the chosen one. And this table can reveal if a person is that or not. I'm Thanks. not ready to do that Goodbye. test yet. Thanks to you, and enjoy your stay in Bone Down. So there's nothing else to do in here except the test. Right. Yep. Stairs don't seem safe. I don't want to risk hurting myself. I don't think that ransacking this paperwork will help me in any way. Better ask for permission. I'd risk looking like a thief. I'm sorry, I'd prefer you not touch it. There's some important notes and I don't want to lose them. Sure. Steve. Good morning, Steve. Good morning. I'm sorry. <laughs> Do we know each other? It's been a while, hasn't it, Uncle Steve? Uncle Steve? There was only one child that called me that. It can't be. Willie, is that really you? Yes, Steve, it's really me. Willie Morgan. Son, how are you? Sorry if I don't get up, but my back is killing me. Sitting here all day is bad for my health. All good, Steve. Thank you. Tell me, what brought you back to Bone Town? It's been years since the last time I saw you. For the anniversary of my dad's disappearance. It's been ten years. I, I was think that's of the leader by the cemetery. Oh, Already ten voice. years? Time seems to have stopped in Bone Town since then. I sought refuge in my job to forget. I don't see your mother. Does she know you're here? I told her I was leaving. She's away on a business trip. How is she? I tried many times to contact you in recent years, but she never answered. It was very tough for her, too. She preferred to make a clean break from the past, concentrating on me and her job. Bone Town is a memory that still hurts a lot. I understand. Can I borrow a stamp? Of course, as long as you use it responsibly. Even if they're dated back, they're the official stamps of Bone Town. Thanks, I'll use them well. Actually, when you're finished with your stuff, you can help me out with that stamp. I have a lot of paperwork to authenticate. Gladly. How are things going here in Bone Town? Not very well, I'd say. It's becoming harder and harder to run Bone Town. People leave, and the problems are constantly increasing. So he's like the mayor? I saw some construction work on the buildings. That's one of the bigger problems in the city. It seems that our water resources are drying up. Some people say that upriver, certain companies have been doing excavations that caused the fracturing of some faults. But I launched an investigation, and there's no correlation. So I'm trying to solve the problem by recovering rainwater. And at the moment, it seems to be working. I hope so, for Bone Town. Do 
you remember what happened to my father? It's always painful for me to talk about Henry. We grew up almost like brothers. Before he decided to leave and become one of the most famous archaeologists in the world. Despite his work, he always found the time to come back here to the family. And to meet his old friends. Unfortunately, his disappearance is still shrouded in mystery. The night before that fateful day, we went out together. We said goodbye in front of the old inn, where he was staying. The next morning, I stopped by to say hello, but there was no trace of him. His room was intact. The innkeeper said he didn't see him going out. That's all I know. Since then, I've been racking my brain to understand what happened. But Henry seems to have vanished into thin air. Just like mm. Mom always tells me. Do you, by any chance, know what Dad was working on? I wouldn't know. Whenever he'd come to Bone Town, he told us fantastic stories of the places he explored. We felt like we were there with him. Dad was always an exceptional narrator. When he told me a story before bed, I couldn't sleep right away, but instead spent a good part of the night fantasizing. He used to do the same thing with us here in Bone Town. Everyone was enthralled by him. See you later. Come back whenever you want. You'll always find me here. Thanks. I might need one. I'll take the more worn one. So that's my authentic <laughs> authentication. Teach Riley and Bellamy. So I've got those three. Better leave it where it is. It only works with five cent coins. Should I smash the window and take the contents? I don't see a reason yet. Excuse me. I better not. I don't want any trouble with the law. Hey, hey, hey! That is fragile instrumentation. You can't take it without authorization. Excuse me, I thought it was available for customers. No. It's extremely important equipment for my job. Only I can use it. Or whoever has my permission. All right. Can I get permission? <laughs> <laughs> Better not. I think the owner would be very upset. I'd like to take some, but I spent the last of my money at the Dead Man Inn. Need it. I wrote down the ingredients I require to complete the recipe I'm working on. I understand. Good morning. Good morning. What can I do for you? I was just browsing. No problem. Uh, but please don't touch anything without my permission. I've arranged everything so that it will make my work easier. What work? I'm developing a recipe that will make me rich. I just have to find the final ingredients. Can I help you somehow? Hmm, let me think. Uh, well, maybe there's something you could do. I need to go to the warehouse to get some things I couldn't find anywhere else in town. But I need a specific plant that grows here in these surroundings. It's a plant with white flowers that only grows in places exposed to the sun, but also with enough moisture. No problem. I'll see if I can pick one up and bring it to you. No, 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 no. It's, it's extremely delicate. Any contact with the acids in human skin could ruin its essence. You should use specific instruments to pick it up and carry it. If you're willing to give me a hand, I can provide you with all you need. What would I get in return? Fortune and glory, kid. Fortune and glory. Tremendously epic. All right. Very well. Help yourself to the container in the trowel near the door. Once you've identified the plant, use the trowel to put it in the container. I figured as much. Thanks. It will also take me a while to find what I need in the warehouse. Uh, we'll meet back here. All right. What's that piece of paper? I honestly don't know. I was going through the back room when the new recipe suddenly hit me. 
I grab the first piece of paper I came across to write down the ingredients. Can I see it? I'd rather you not. Our sector is very competitive. If I let you read the ingredients, you could steal my recipe. I can give it to you after the recipe is completed, when I'll be sure nobody will copy my work. Okay. It's the map. What are you working on, exactly? It's a recipe of my own concoction for a new, non-alcoholic drink. As soon as I find all the ingredients, I'll patent it. I've written everything I need on this piece of paper I found in the back room. There's still some ingredients missing to complete the recipe. Then I'm sure my life will take a turn, and I could say goodbye to Bone Town. Can I have some candies? Unfortunately, I have to say no. The ones you see in the shop are needed to complete the recipe I'm working on, as well as for my livelihood. I noticed. If you have some <laughs> change, there's a candy vending machine right outside the shop. You can take as much as you want. It's only five cents for a candy. Thanks a lot. Goodbye. See you soon. When you find the plant with the white flowers, make sure to be as gentle as you can. I'll do my best. I better be going now. The owner was clearly in a great hurry to leave. Whoa. What's this music? It doesn't work like that. It's the same printer we use at school. Here on the side is a multi-format reader. It can read USB sticks, CDs, etc. And it's also a scanner to read data directly from images. Once all the info has been inserted into the reader, it'll be converted into data, which will be passed on to the printer. Only then will it be ready to begin operating. So I can make something. Like a key. I'm not thirsty. Useless. I already have all the energy I need. Hi. Hello. Welcome to the fabulous Bone Town New Pub. Is this supposed to be a pub? Uh -oh. It is. It's a full-fledged pub. You have the opportunity to select different drinks of your choice. And it's all automated. At first sight, it looks more like a garage with vending machines. Details. <laughs> this is the future. People don't want to waste time with chatter. They want to get straight to the point. And I offer what they want. A valid alternative to the old and worn down Bone Town premises. Maybe you should have invested a bit more in the interior design. Like moving some tires or getting rid of the tools. I appeal to a different clientele. A bit in the style of Dine and Dash, but more like Drink and Dash. Well, if that is your philosophy, I'd say you've done a great job. I know. Thank you. How is business going in <laughs> Bone Town? I only opened this business recently, but I'm very confident. The market research I did before opening in Bone Town is very accurate. So it's just a matter of time, and then I'm sure I'll find great satisfaction. What kind of market research? I was passing by Bone Town when I had a car problem. I asked for help from the town mechanic. After the hike to check out my stalled car, he asked me if by any chance I had something to drink. And so the light bulb went on in my head. Ding! If people here need takeaway drinks, I'll be here to serve them. So you just relied on the opinion of a single person who happened to be thirsty. Exactly! <laughs> I know how to read the needs of a village. It's from little things that big projects grow. I have some serious doubts, but I wish you luck. Thanks, but luck doesn't have anything to do with it. Intuition and precise calculations are the foundations of every solid venture. That's right, I agree. And is he playing an Xbox? Who's the town mechanic? He's a very skilled local handyman. They still call him the blacksmith here. He can fix practically anything. At first I had some problems with the vending machines, and he took care of making them go again. Now he's tinkering with my car. Now that I've moved here, I don't need it anymore. 
Since I have no urgency to get it fixed, I told the blacksmith he could work on it during the slow times. Since then, I haven't seen him around anymore. I understand. I also saw a 3D printer. Yes, it's the latest fashion. Yeah, the one on the table to the Xbox controller. By the ones in the hand looks almost like a place. The same store. I have more chance to succeed. Drinks and 3D printers? I see you also grasp the symbiosis of the two things. Hmm. I wasn't exactly paying you a compliment. This is another of my brilliant ideas. You can use it if you want. The first time, it's free. Just to encourage the customer to come back. And many people use it here in Bone Town? Some pass by here to see it, supposing it's an aquarium. But as soon as they recognize its potential, a universe of opportunity will open up to them. I like your enthusiasm. I'll make good use of it too, then. It's at your disposal when you want it. Goodbye. See you soon. Oh, no, I guess it's an Xbox. Okay. Uh, I have nothing yet. What could I do with a cart with a couple of wheels missing? I don't need it. He's got a bunch of stuff up here. I can't get there, and above all, I don't need it. I'll think about it later. Maybe I could mount it on my next bicycle. Lately, the value of copper has gone through the roof, but I don't really want to rob this poor town. Let's see if there's anyone here. It must weigh at least a couple of quintals. I'd rather not test my spine more than necessary. Too many things. I can't take them all. Better not. It looks like here in Bone Town, water is a valuable asset. I don't know how, but it could be useful. <sighs> Open the lock. The library. Here, horsey. It doesn't seem to be very cooperative. Maybe it needs some extra incentive. Like candy. Well, they could always come in handy. Better take them with me. You never know. I don't need it. I'm out for repair. Don't touch anything. It looks like the blacksmith has a lot to do. I hope I don't have to compete in some strange medieval tournament. <laughs> I'm a peaceful guy. I don't want to bring weapons with me. Captain America. Huh. I don't think they would be useful to me, unless I want to take part in a medieval carousel. But right now, that's not among the things I aim to do. The engraving says J. Roger. Let's try to see if there's something that might be useful to my research. Oops, I better put everything back as it was. It's still no reaction from the dude. Sorry, my mistake. Careful, boy. I don't like to repeat myself, so I'll tell you only once. It's not wise taking something without permission in a shop that sells weapons. Thanks for the advice. This alarm is a problem. I have to find a way to avoid activating it. I don't need them. 
There's no ammo. I need something to test the range of this mini catapult. I don't have any protectors. Sorry, can I take these scissors? It seems to me it's the only thing suitable for you in this shop. Round edges for greater security. Go ahead and take them. And don't forget to advertise Roger's Weapon Shop. Um, thank you. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning to you, young man. Are you interested in something? How long has this shop been running? Basically ever since Bone Town existed. In every town there's a shop selling weapons. And Rogers is the ultimate shop in the city. We have weapons from all countries and all ages. Our centerpiece is that gun on display over there. It dates all the way back to the early 1700s. My grandpa found it hidden in his attic. It's in a perfect state of preservation. I'd only like to take a look, thanks. I couldn't help but notice the gun on display. You have a good eye, kid. It's the finest piece we have. It's an authentic weapon from the early 1700s. My grandpa found it in the attic, and since then it has always been on display here in our shop. We've done lots of research on it, but we were never able to establish provenance. We know that it dates back centuries, and it's a unique piece. It is unmatched in handling and finish. How it ended up in my grandpa's attic is currently a mystery. There's an inscription. J. Roger. We think it belonged to one of our forefathers. And in our family tree, there's nobody whose name started with a J. The first Roger to arrive here in Bone Town was Johan. But he was an Icelandic fisherman. How much are you selling it for? It's the only piece in the entire collection not for sale. Why's that? It's needed to give our shop a certain prestige. Without this, we would just be another common emporium selling weapons. Instead, Many people pass through here because they know this relic is here. If I sold it, many customers wouldn't return. I understand. Mm -hmm. There must be something for which you would be willing to part with that gun. Absolutely not. There is no other weapon identical to this. You could try to find another identical one, but according to the research we did, it's a unique piece. And even if I found another one of the same value, I could never trade it. As I already told you, our patronage is based, at the end of the day, on this heirloom. That's why we installed a very sophisticated alarm system that goes off as soon as the weapon is removed. How does your alarm system work? It detects the presence, weight, and dimensions of the object. As soon as this is removed, it immediately goes off. The only chance to steal it would be to substitute the gun with another identical <laughs> one. But being one of a kind, it's absolutely impossible. Oh my I'd God. say it's a foolproof system. Tell us Understood. Goodbye. Goodbye. So I need to get a little projector. I need to get a replica gun. Ugh. So much stuff. Let's try and hope it still works. There's a super promotion. With a single shot, you'll see yourself in your current form, in the guise of a pirate, and, brand new option, in the guise of a drunk pirate, all offered by the Lafitte Amusement Park. The things you do to attract customers. Woo! I better go out and recover the posters. I'm curious to admire the different versions of myself. Three posters of me. Oh. Uh... Let's give a touch of authenticity to this poster. Now it seems that it was issued by a town hall department. The stamp has done its duty. I don't need it anymore. Yep. That's my proof. It's not very nice to reverse the directions. Someone could get lost in this huge city.
I'm quite sure it's a felony to remove public material, and I can't see why I should do that. I could stand in line waiting for someone to show up, or I could spend my time any other way. Let's be on the... Oh, it should be the, um... The pier. The lighthouse. There's something shiny on the roof. Maybe it's the only thing worth taking from this place. My arms are not long enough. I can't force it. It still looks very sturdy. Difficult task without even the original hammer. I don't need to take it with me. Let's try this one. No way. The weight doesn't move an inch. There must be another way to make the bell ring. I can't force it. It still looks very sturdy. <laughs> Let's try the hammer. Better use it with caution. I could cause serious damage. Better use it with caution. I could cause serious damage. I don't think these will help me this way. I don't think that would work. Yep. Maybe this will... Maybe now they will come in handy. Oh, Got it's it. Not it's not a chimney. It looks more like a roll with a series of engravings on it. I don't think I still need these bulky tongs. Yes, we do. <sighs> I don't think I can use anything else. Just so we're gonna get our flower. I can't take anything until the seagull goes away. Better not remove any pieces. I'd risk compromising its safety. Definitely safe bridge. <laughs> I'd rather leave it here as a warning to all future visitors. I don't know how to make it work. I don't really know how it works. There should be some instructions somewhere. I wouldn't know what to do with it. It can only be admired. So I'm gonna put some in it and light it with the matches. I don't know what to do with it. I can only play the cello. I have to thank mom for the music classes. It's not the right moment to think about buying an instrument. Besides, after spending my last savings at Dead Man Inn, I'm broke. A tuning fork can always come in handy. Excuse me, can I take that tuning fork? Sure. It's available to customers to find harmony. Thanks. <laughs> it's already working. There's no need to waste coins. We don't even have coins. I don't know what to do with those. Hey, there are other musical instruments here too. But these seem to be more ancient. I'd rather not. Don't touch. 
property of the Fly family. It's another poster of the Lafitte Amusement Park. I saw one just like it at the inn. I guess the Bone Town community really believed in that project. A musical triangle. There's a plate here too. Property of Walter Fly. Usually there's a metallic stick to make it play, but I can't see that here. I need something else to make it vibrate. It should work. What was that? There was a hideout in the wall. The opening mechanism seems to have activated with the sound of the instrument. Cool. To play it, I first need to find the hair and repair the bow. I can't play this way. Let's see what happens. It doesn't do anything. Maybe I should try with some other instruments. Yeah, it's the organ piano thing. I gotta hmm. put the music in there. It looks like a mechanical piano. I can't play it. To make it work, a musical role would be necessary. I never saw one so old, though. There's an engraving. Walter Fly, 1712. Yep. Walter Fly. The role should go here. And a hatch. Another noise. The hideout opened a little bit more. A bit better. I can just glimpse something. Maybe a piece of paper? The crack is still too narrow. I can't stick my hand inside. I gotta play the damn cello. So I need a hair and a string. Hello. Hello, dude. Peace be with you. May I help you somehow? Have you ever heard of Walter Fly? I'm thinking, dude. Uh, I think he's a singer <laughs> from the 60s. No, wait. Dude, inspiration? It's just about to come. It's been a while since I heard that name. Walter Fly was a distant relative of mine. My third or fourth something or other. If I recall correctly, in the back room is a mechanical piano that belonged to him. Dude, he was like a musical genius. A sort of Beethoven of his age. Just that he didn't play in big theaters, only on transport vessels or so I recall. Plus, he was very good at mechanics. Dude, he knew how to put things in harmony. What do you mean? The harmony between music and mechanics. Everything revolves around harmony, dude. In the back room, there are still instruments at the time Walter Fly came here to Bone Town. I understand. Is smoking allowed in this shop? Dude, who do you take me for? I could never go against the law and cause harm. <laughs> it looks like you're smoking. No, dude, this is the new frontier. Electronic cigarettes. I see. Aromatized flavor? Uh, yeah, you could say that. An aroma that expands your <laughs> mind to connect you with the whole. I'm content. I don't want to investigate further. I like the selection of instruments in this shop. Thanks, dude. It took years to stock up so much choice. To test every single instrument to make it harmoniously perfect. <laughs> As in an orchestra where everything must be perfect? No, dude. No. I I'm talking about harmony with a capital H. Each instrument has a sound that connects your inner self with the motion of the universe, making you a part of the whole. And did you find the formula for this harmony? Dude, for more than 50 years, I've experienced things that link me with the harmony of the universe. But the path is still long, <laughs> and there's still a lot to try. <laughs> That's not hard to believe. I'd be curious to know what kind of experiments you conducted. Better not ask certain things, dude. In this case, I agree. How come the instruments in the back room are not on display? <laughs> For the harmony of things, dude. Those instruments must be in that room. If I move them, I'd change the order of the things, and it wouldn't be good at all. Really? Actually, no, they can't be sold. One of my great-great-grandfathers put a clause on that action. The flies can sell all instruments, except for those that belong to our progenitor. I think it's a sign of respect for the legacy he no, left us. So that if I sell them, I'd the be going against the will of my ancestors, and I'd ruin the harmony. Dude, harmony is important. I have no doubt.
It seems something is missing from the piano in the back room. Dude, you have sharp eyes. That is one of the first mechanical pianos. It works with a specific roll that makes the melody start. Can you tell me where I can find a roll? Eh, impossible. I know there was only one for that model, but it was lost long before I was even born. My father told me that his grandfather loaned it to someone. For what reason, I don't know. And then, it was never given back. I have no idea where it might have ended up. Thanks anyway. I already found it. Goodbye. Goodbye. I wish you peace and love. Where am I gonna find hair and string? Graveyard. It's an old family crypt. It probably belongs to some rich family in Bone Town. Maintenance wasn't very helpful here. This white flower. White flowers. Maybe this is the only place they will grow. The place is sunny and damp at the same time. These are just the conditions the pharmacist described. I think these are just the flowers he's looking for. Which means... I hope they grew spontaneously. We can go in here? Why is there a cow in the... <laughs> this crypt seems more recent than the others. The entrance is locked, quite rightly. Restricted access will be reserved for family members only. It's a tombstone. Surely among these must be one in remembrance of my father, but I don't know which one it is. After he vanished, we never came back here to Bone Town. I don't want to open a coffin. I hope it's just an exposition coffin that ended up here by mistake. It doesn't seem healthy to touch these things. Somebody transformed this crypt into some sort of house. It probably became a shelter for someone. You're dead. Better use it with caution. I could cause serious damage. Mm. I don't want to open a cough. You may not want to, but we may need to. It won't work if you don't start the engine first. From what I see, I guess it still runs on gasoline or something similar. It's an old engine, but there's no gasoline. So now I need to find gas. I was just hoping to get a tennis ball so I could, uh... Hmm. I can't take an entire window. It's a beautiful stained glass window. From here I can't see it clearly. Maybe by entering the church it would be more visible. I think it depicts a village with a boat getting closer. A ship is depicted. Maybe it's some sort of allegory. It doesn't seem like a good idea. Unless it's a matter of life and death, my tools cannot be touched. I get it. I don't have my driver's license yet. It's an old car. Hello. Hi. Do you need something? He seems very busy. Good boy. I can see you're very perceptive. Let's say it's one of my numerous gifts, in addition to... I'll stop you right there. I already said you're very perceptive and you noticed that I'm very busy. What does that tell you? That we have become friends? In a certain sense. 
so I need a favor from a friend. Could you please talk to me as little as possible, <laughs> at least until I'm finished with this job? Is it a long job? You have no idea. He seems very busy. Good boy. Let's say it's one. I'll stop you. That you need. Absolutely. Here's what I need now. Could you please talk to me? Is it a long job? You have. Goodbye. Bye. I can't take the whole window. Interesting. Seeing such a huge ship represented on a big stained glass window is not something you see every day. I wonder from which religious source the master glassmaker took inspiration. It's, it's accurate in every detail. Actually, now that I'm looking at it ship? carefully, on one of the sails there are even some micro inscriptions. It's a shame I can't get any closer. The story seems to continue. The boat is about to reach a safe haven. And in the end, a flourishing city. Maybe it could come in handy. So we're just taking stuff now? <laughs> I don't think that's important enough to be photographed. What? Good morning, father. Good morning, son. I was admiring the beauty of this church. You're right. It's a real piece of art. It dates back a few centuries and is all thanks to an ancestor of mine. After he traveled across the ocean, he settled here in Bone Town. Seeing the condition of the village, he wanted to build a place of comfort for wayward souls at all costs. What was the name of your ancestor? Edward Drake, the first yeah. minister of the Bone Town community, upstanding guide of Bone Town's people, unblemished pastor of the community. Yes, Father, I think I understand. This calling has been handed down from one generation to another, right up to today. Can you tell me anything more about Edward Drake? My ancestor? First Minister of the Bone Town Community, upstanding guide of the Bone Town's people, unblemished pastor of the community. Yes, that one. Before coming here to Bone Town, it is said he was a skilled glassmaker. All the stained glass windows of the church are his handiwork, created by his powerful hand, fused with the sacred fire of faith, designed with the ecstasy <laughs> of supreme <laughs> adoration. Yes, really beautiful. Yes, son. Every time I look at them, the fervor of the drakes ignites within me once again. How are things going for the Church of Bone Town? Under my guidance, there's nothing to fear. Unfortunately, my flock has been reduced in number, but not in the strength of its faith. There are just a few troublemakers, a few kids, who still don't have the patience to listen to my small two-hour sermons, two but hours. nothing more. <laughs> How come Bone Town is in this condition? Progress. Bone Town remained a pure city, like when my ancestor arrived and never adapted to progress, and the latest events surely didn't help. What events? There are weird stories going around. Some of the faithful said they've seen people, not locals, digging around the city. We warned the mayor, who went personally to the places in question, but he found them already abandoned. Rumors say these excavations caused a hydrogeological instability that's depleting Bone Town's water supply. Fortunately, the holes were filled in again to prevent any damage to our flourishing city tourism. Hmm. Right now, I think I'm the only tourist in town. Son, just the mere chance to visit our holy church should be good reason to come to Bone Town. Our little St. Peter. Maybe you're exaggerating a little. Plus, we have a lot of other pleasant attractions. Here in Bone Town, we don't lack anything. Library, museum, amusement park, one of the most famous inns of the area. I wish I knew that earlier. 
I'm staying at the Dead Man Inn. That one, precisely. Everybody envies us for it. Who exactly envies the Dead Man Inn? <laughs> Come again, son? Nothing, father. I was just reflecting on my luck. What's the reason, in your opinion, for these illegal excavations? Rumors say that under Bone Town, there are veins of precious materials, and that the excavations were tests conducted by companies without city approval. The mayor would never let the city be disfigured. What materials might be in Bone Town subsoil? Some fantasize about golden veins. Others say it's copper or tin. I think there is nothing at all. Or they would have surely realized it when they built the city. There's been no findings of any precious materials, either today or in the past. In doubt, the mayor made put some signs around that forbid excavations in all areas adjoining the town. Goodbye. Goodbye, son. I think we visited everything. Yes. So now we just need to go back to the drugstore and give him back his... Closed. The owner has put up a notice. I'll be right back, thanks. He actually told me he was going to the warehouse. I better try later. So I have to go back to the museum. Here you are. It's an authentic wanted poster. But you can't tell who's the subject in the photo. Sorry, I must have the wrong poster. What? Here hey. you are. It's an authentic wanted poster. Sorry, I must have... I don't know if it's a good idea. He seems to be interested in something more historical. I don't think that's important enough to be photographed. Yeah, but it was sealed. These are my posters from the Lafitte Amusement Park, with an official stamp of Bone Town. So are we supposed to scan these in the 3D printer? Those two. Better use it with caution. I could cause serious damage. I don't think that would work. I don't need it. <laughs> Hmm, this lock is peculiar to say the least. I'm pretty sure that I'd need a special key if I wanted to open it. It seems to be a very old crate. I feel like I'm gonna need to use this on myself to make it look like I'm not blinking. I think I'm a good-looking kid. Let me see. I see you want to prove yourself. 
When you're ready, call me. I'll be right there. I feel ready. Very well. I'm coming. Let's begin the test. We'll soon know if you're the chosen one or just another common person. Our menu includes mushroom chicken, algae chicken, egg chicken, spicy chicken, sweet corn chicken, pepper chicken, olive chicken, chicken and vinegar, blah, blah, chicken, blah, 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 free range, blah, 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 blah herb crusted, blah, blah, blah. Hmm. Kid. Hey, kid. The test is over. I'm sorry. I thought you were different from the others. For now, you're not the chosen one. And yet I was sure I'd be the one. I see. When you're ready... It's a good starting point, but first I need to do something to adapt it better. Yep. Uh, I feel like... ready. Very. Let's be our mushroom sweet go chicken free herb. Hmm. Kid, take the test. I'm sorry. I for now. And yet I was sure I'd be the one. It could be a good idea. Now I have a nice pair of cardboard eyes. Better use them only when they're strictly needed. So what's that I do is cut them out. I see you when you're Just enough to put behind my work. I feel ready. Very well. I'm coming. Let's begin the test. Our menu includes mushroom chicken, algae chicken, egg chicken, spicy chicken, sweet corn chicken, pepper chicken, olive chicken, chicken and vinegar, blah, blah, chicken, blah, 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 free range, blah, 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 blah herb crusted, blah, blah, blah. Hmm. Kid. Hey, kid. The test is over. Oh, like, he doesn't see that. I saw you fall into a trance, just like in the legend that has been passed down for generations. You're the chosen one. The one who can taste the unique and incomparable Bellamy cookie. After the sixth plate, I felt the force flowing strong in me. I know. The chosen one has this power. Keep the key. With this, you'll have access to the Bellamy treasure. Thank you. I'll put it to good use. Yay! Good. I don't need these cardboard eyes anymore. Since I'm the chosen one, I'm entitled to it. It's the original Bellamy cookie. Inside should still be the message from Eddie Bellamy. I can't open it. After all these years, the dough is hardened. I need something to break the cookie. Better use it with caution. I could cause serious damage. Really? I don't need it here. I don't think fixing my nails would improve the outcome of my visit to Bone Town. I'm not an arsonist. Hmm. I don't think that would work. What, do I need to have the horse stomp him or some shit?
What's that old crate upstairs? It belonged to Charles Teach, a great-great-grandfather of mine. Many years ago, we opened it with the help of a locksmith, but it was empty. Then the key got lost again, and nobody has any interest in it anymore. Maybe the locksmith has a copy of it somewhere. I never feel like throwing it away. It's still a family heirloom after all. Thanks, and goodbye. Thank you for visiting the Bone Town Library. If you need a specific- Thanks! I'll Can I hopefully just port there if I look at the map? Ha! Huh! He seems very busy. Good boy. I Let's say it's one of my new- I'll stop you right there. That you need to talk to someone? Maybe. So now I have to. Could you please talk to? Is it a long job? You have no idea. So I just have Goodbye. to look at his Bye. Shot. It's an old car. A ship is depicted. Maybe it's some. I don't think that's important enough to be photographed. I don't think that's important enough. I don't think that's Im that what is? It's an old family crypt. It probably belongs to some maintenance. It's a tombstone. Surely among these must be one in room after he vanished. Hmm. I don't think that's important. It doesn't seem healthy. Somebody transformed this crypt into some sort of house. It probably became a shelter for someone. I hope it's just an exposition. Better use it with caution. I could... Lately, the value of copper has gone. Its brightness really draws attention. Too many things. I can't take them all. I need something to put the cookie on to be able to open it. I need something to put the cookie on to be able to open it. That's a good idea. This anvil gives me a perfect support. Now I have to find something with which to try to open it. That's a good idea. Only the imitation of an ancestral weapon will allow the chosen one to perform his duty. That's supposed to be Thor's hammer. <laughs> After the impact, the hammer disappeared. Maybe it wasn't a copy of Thor's hammer, but at least the cookie broke. Inside, there is something left by Eddie Bellamy. Better take it all to not leave any trace. So I find myself with the pieces of a biscuit that dates back centuries, and a message. Hmm. It doesn't seem like the classic fortune cookie message. It's a piece of the map, just like my dad said. Better add it to the others. Take what others? Nice. Now I have two pieces of the map. It could be a good idea. Oh. Now it seems that the wanted man is Tom Rayleigh. The resemblance to me is remarkable. I'd rather not.
Here you are. Interesting. Sure. They are wanted posters of Tom Rayleigh. I found them at home in an old chest left to us by one of my ancestors. I know that in the past he had some problems with the law. My poor great-great-great-grandfather Tom. Um, actually, they look authentic. The resemblance to you is evident, especially after he drank a bit. Oh, thanks? And the stamp is authentic as well. There is no doubt you're one of Tom's heirs. <laughs> Finally, I have something for you. Take that envelope. Tom forgot it here, in the old prison after his last, um, visit. Since then, nobody has ever seen him anymore. Can you tell me what happened to him? The usual things for an artist. Life on the edge. No financial security. Just as I thought. I have to follow his path. Take his envelope and make your forefather proud of you. Now I have to refine my technique so that it will at least be equal to that of <laughs> Master Rayleigh. Thanks a lot. I just made him a painless artist. Better leave before opening the envelope. Let's open it. I'm intrigued to see what Tom Rayleigh left me. As I suspected, inside there's both a piece of the map I was looking for and a little flask. By the smell, I'd say the rumors about Tom's drinking problems were true. Best to add this piece of the map to the others. Let's just hope the contents of the flask won't spill out into the bag. I don't want to give the impression of being a drunkard. What? <laughs> Hello, boss. It's me. Bob is keeping an eye on the young Morgan. It looks like he's snooping around Bone Town, but we still don't know the reason. He's either particularly good or he has nothing to hide. I don't trust him. It's strange that Henry's son shows up again in town after all these years. Yeah, it's the, the mayor guy. Sooner or later, he'll make a wrong move. Okay, boss. I'll keep you posted. Good. Pretending to be your friend. I'm close this time, and another Morgan won't stop me. Yep. It's a flask that still contains something alcoholic. Dun dun. I'm sorry, I'd prefer you not touch it. Sure. See back yet? It's closed. I'll be right back, thanks. He actually told me he was go I better try later. Oh, no, 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 no. I gotta take a picture of the gun. I'm already here. Yeah. No, it was the armor. Yeah. Here are the pics I took with the Polaroid. Now that the photographic film is over, I don't need that Polaroid anymore. I don't think there are any specialist photography shops here in Bone Town.
It should work. The photos surely have to be inserted here. Nice. Very well. A perfect plastic copy of the gun photographed in the shop. This printer model uses materials that faithfully reproduce the original objects by starting from simple photos. This replica could surely come in handy. Yay! I don't know why they make this one so long that you can't just travel. I can't do that now. The owner might see me. <laughs> Better not. How does your alarm system work? It detects the presence weight as soon as this is removed. The only chance to steal it would be to s I'd say it's a f Understood. Oh, no, 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 I have to... Goodbye. Goodbye. Put something in here. There's no ammo. I need something to test the... I'd rather not. No? I thought that'd be perfect. Better not. I don't think fixing my nails would improve. Hmm. It's a faithful replica of the gun I photographed at the armory. What need alcohol? Could that be used as gasoline? Because it's old? The alcoholic content of the liquid in this flask is remarkable. It could work. Done. The flask yep. is empty. I don't need it anymore. You just have to press the button. Let's see what happens. It's gonna break one of the stained glass windows. No! Don't you dare! This is an order! I won't repeat it a second time! You just have to press the button. Let's see what happens. You just have to press... How am I supposed to... You just have to press... Father, was it you who screamed? Son, even the most meek and calm man would lose his temper over this outrage. Hmm, I don't understand. What are you talking about? Somebody dared to kickstart the devil's car. I still don't understand. Outside the church is a machine. A wicked machine. The kids of Bone Town used it to play. All that clamoring and laughter disturbed my concentration. But it's necessary to maintain a straight-laced community. I instructed never to use it anymore. And it's been years since it fell quiet. But today, someone has transgressed. It'll be necessary to rely on the Holy Scripture again. Are you planning to write a sermon about the Scriptures? Oh, no, son. This situation has to be resolved in the most drastic way. I have a task for you. You'll have to restore the order of things. I don't think I'm the right person for it. You're here in my presence, so you're the right person for the job. <laughs> I didn't want it to come to this, but things are escalating. Take this sacred relic. It will be your mission to fix it and place it outside the church. Everything is already set up. A sacred aperture 
will host the word. What in the world? It seems like just a sign to me. Young and pure of soul, it's the word that will prevent the newly started havoc from spreading any further. But it just says, play forbidden. Isn't that enough for you? My mind cannot suffer distractions. My sermon must be impeccable. Carry out your mission. But the sign is broken. Ask for help from the blacksmith right outside. Maybe he can help you. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye, son. Hopefully it's going to bounce on the window, break, and then have a piece that has the words on it that I need. It's not useful to me in this state. It's not useful. I need help. I'm on a mission from God, or rather, from the Reverend. In this case, I can give you a second. What do you need? The Reverend has entrusted me with a mission. I have to fix this sign. Can I take one of your tools? I might have what you need. Inside the toolbox is a multi-purpose tool. It serves to tighten, bolt, even open some specific locks. It's the only thing I can give you for your mission. The rest I need to repair this wreck. Make good use of it. Maybe it's Thanks. good for the chest too? Goodbye. Bye. Be sure to make good use of it. As always, sir. It's not useful to me in this state. Good idea. Perfect. Now the sign has a certain stability. It doesn't work. 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 It should work. Mission accomplished. You just have to press the button. Let's see what happens. Oops. Technically, it wasn't all my fault. I just followed the Reverend's instructions to the letter. Hold still, son. Don't touch anything. At least, until I know who did it. All right. What happened? Somebody, some ungodly soul guided by an evil hand, damaged the sacred stained glass windows. Have you seen any black sheep wandering in my church? I think I saw some kids playing up front. I thought so. Surely it was one of them. Can you describe the person? Surely blonde. Anything else? Very tall. Any distinguishing marks? He had a slingshot. It's clear. I'll have to talk to your mother, dear Edward. I'll go and resolve the situation. Nobody can disfigure the sacred church of Bone Town. Shelter of the poor. <laughs> Symbol of faith. Innocent of trouble. the community. Oh my god, look at the way he runs. Still can't do anything over here, though. Weird. I could have sworn there were some micro-inscriptions on the glass. Actually, this glass shard contains a piece of the map. Supposedly the one belonging to Reverend Drake. <gasps> he put the map directly into the stained glass. So I need this. Try and let's see if I can use it in the library. Let's try. It works. I heard a click. 
Empty. It seems so strange. There's something that doesn't add up in this crate. Let's see. It's in the seams. Just as I thought. There's a false back. I just need something to pry it open. It should work. Bingo! The nail file got stuck, but it doesn't matter. There's something a lot more precious inside. It's another piece of the map, and I think it's the teach one. Yep, okay, so it does check. There's nothing else inside anymore. Okay. So what am I going to use for a projectile? It has lots of uses, but not this one. I don't think that... I don't need it here. Mm. It has lots of uses, but not this one. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Mm. Is it possible the solution could be so easy? Apparently. It seems to have worked. I won a prize. Very nice. Let's see what this is about. Small Teddy, property of Rock Lafitte. Rock Lafitte? Could he be the same man from my father's letter? It would seem he was a pirate with a soft heart. It'd be better to check this plush more carefully. Just as I thought. There's something hidden inside. Yay. The very smart Mr. Lafitte hid his piece of the map, the only place no one would ever look for it. Better add his part of the map to the other pieces. I don't need this plush anymore. I hope Mr. Lafitte won't be offended. It's been well studied. Even now with six pieces, I can't get clear clues. and stuff but how am I oh scissors on the horse I don't think that would work I'd rather not Here, horsey. It doesn't seem to be very cooperative. Maybe it needs some extra incentive. It's in order. It's in order. Better not. How am I supposed to... What could I do with a cart with a couple of wheels missing? It has lots of uses, but not this one. It's closed. The owner has put up a notice. I'll be right back, thanks. He actually told me he was- I better try later. Yeah... It has lots of uses, but not this one. Let's see. How do you handle your operation? Ha! That's simple. The vending machines and the signs do their work. I just have to wait for the customers and invest the proceeds in my other passion. Video games. Video games. Oh, so you're a developer? Ha! Please. I want to make a living. 
I play everything I can and help developers with my precise and sharp feedback. Of course. Goodbye. See you soon. Well, this is working I don't need it here. I don't think that would work. I didn't think so. It doesn't work. I'm not thirsty. I'm not thirsty. Useless. I already have all the energy I need. Okay, where do I make it? I get some coins. I don't need it here. I think this is the best possible way to use these matches. Once you used a certain kind of oil to light a fire. From the condition of the lighthouse, I'd say it's very likely there's still some left. I'm not risking burning anything, and I'm isolated from other houses. Great! But it's better to close the opening, or I'll risk that flame burning out. Good job! I wouldn't know what to do with it. I don't really know how it works. There should be some instructions somewhere. I don't really know how it works. There should be some instructions somewhere. I don't know how to make it work. Mm. Well, maybe he'll take the... I can't take anything until the seagull goes away. I think it is the only one able to digest it. Great! I can finally rummage through its nest. Yay! A five cent coin. It'll surely be useful. Yes, it is. Five cent coin. Do what you gotta do. Perfect. A jelly bean. So now I can use that on the horse? Or do I use it here? No. The armory dude. I wouldn't ruin the only good thing about the inn. I wouldn't ruin the only good thing about the inn. Yeah, so it's for the horse. No horse can resist a treat. Better put it inside the manger. Here. Being very careful, I should be able to take what I need. Easy, horsey. You won't notice a thing. <laughs> that didn't go too bad. Now I have these amazing horse hairs. I hope they come in handy. Now that I got what I needed, it's better to leave him alone.
It's a bow, but it's so old that the hair is worn out. I'll take it with me. If I can find a way to replace the hair, I can use the cello. Good idea. This way, I should get a perfectly functioning bow. If I remember correctly, it should be played like this. <laughs> that was awful. That noise again. Finally, the opening is big enough to allow access. At least for a hand. I don't need the bow anymore. Perfect. I can get my hand through. Yay. It's a piece of paper. Actually, it's a piece of kid's map. Just need two more. So the armory guy. And... And this guy. So what am I going to use for a projectile? Goodbye. Goodbye. I wish you peace and love. See you later. Come back whenever you want. You'll always find me here. Thanks. I don't think that ransacking this paperwork will help me in any way. Should I go back to the inn? I could pick all the weeds and try to fix it, but I'm not here for that reason. I don't need copper. I'm just noticing now that all the gutters seem brand new. <sighs> I need help because I have to get directions from that, but that's going to be at the end. I'm done here. There's something I could possibly do at the cemetery. But I need these two places. He's not back yet, is he? I better not. I don't want any trouble with the law. I don't want them to get ruined. It's closed. The owner has put up a notice. I'll be right back, thanks. He actually told me he was going- I better try- mm. It has lots of uses, but not this one. The entrance is locked, quite rightly. Restricted access will- I don't need it here. I don't think that would work. It has lots of uses. It has lots of uses. I don't need it here. I don't need it here. I don't think that would work. I'm not an arsonist.
It's empty. There it's an old family crypt. It probably belongs to some rich family. Maintenance wasn't very helpful here. Okay. Yeah, so there's nothing... up here. We've got the map done there. Done there. There's nothing else useful. <laughs> How come all across Bone Town the gutters seem to be new? They are new. There has been some geological instability in the last few years. We don't know yet if it's due to natural causes or human activity. In any case, the result is that Bone Town no longer has a working water network. And the only way to retrieve some water at a decent cost seems to be this one. Whose idea was this? Maybe the only person who really cares about the state of Bone Town, our Mayor Steve Bonnet. What can you tell me about Steve Bonnet? He's the only one here doing something to keep Bone Town alive. Without him, our village would be much worse off. I suggest you go visit him. He knows everything about Bone Town. If you need something specific, he'll be able to help you for sure. These days, he lives in the town hall to deal with all the city's problems. But he's always available to everyone. Thank you. I'll visit him as soon as possible. Thanks, and goodbye. Thank you for visiting the Bone Town Library. If you need a specific book, you can ask me, Ms. Teach, or just Margaret. Thanks, I'll keep that in mind. How are things going? The bigger problem seems to be our water at the moment. Our water resources are drying up. I'm investing my remaining finances and the last of the city's funds to get it back to its former state. You really care a lot about Bone Town. I was born and raised here. I don't want it to stay like this. See you later. Yeah. Come back whenever you want. You'll always find me here. Thanks. Still signs up. I'll think about it later. Maybe I could mount it on my next bicycle. What could I do with a cart with a couple of wheels missing? Too many things. I can't take them all. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. I'll remember it in case a dragon appears before me. I don't think they would be useful to me, unless I want to take part in a medieval carousel, but right now, that's not among the things I aim to do. A nice arsenal. It's a little catapult. It looks like a toy.
I don't need it here. There's no ammo. I need something to test the range of this mini catapult. I noticed that the city is being revitalized with all those new gutters. Let's say we must make a virtue of necessity. We've got serious water problems here in Bone Town. And, I would add, serious economic problems too. Our Mayor Steve is trying to tackle all these problems as best he can. I think it's a good compromise. All that shiny brass seems to beautify Bone Town, and simultaneously provides the water we need to get by. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Oh. So, is there a way for me to get one of the little balls? Load and shoot. It seems to be an old machine for throwing baseballs. Even if it wasn't all my fault, I don't want to make it happen again. <laughs> Excuse me? Better not. I'd risk getting cut. Yeah, and they don't sell the projectile. Oh, pebbles. A few pumice stone pebbles could come in handy. They're light but resistant. I miss it this whole time. <laughs> Should have used a little gizmo. This sign invites me to the marriage. It says, new arrival. Try it. Don't worry. It's an irresistible attraction to the kids. Mm. I'm going to tidy up. I hope it won't take too long. Finally, let's see if there's a clue. Hopefully it's not loaded. Very good. Inside the barrel was a piece of the map. Roger's piece. I don't feel at ease with a real weapon in my pocket. I'd rather not take it with me. But I can't get rid of it here or the owner would get suspicious. I'd better leave it somewhere outside of the store. Looks like a good spot here. Now it seems much less aggressive. Uh -oh. oh good, he's back. He's the last one I need. recipe is practically done. It will be a drink that is sure to make waves in the world. Non-alcoholic, dark colored, sparkly. It can even cure a headache. I wouldn't want to ruin your dream, but I think that already exists. Actually, I believe you're even in danger of clashing with some mega corporations. I know the market very well. <laughs> I managed to isolate and replace the secret ingredient with another. Really? Which one? Well, it's the root extract of a... Oh, hey. Ah, nice try, boy. You almost had me going there. It's the only ingredient that is not present on the list. Take it. I don't need it anymore. Thank you. Better read it away from prying eyes. Wait a minute. This list is a bit strange. I can glimpse something under the text about the ingredients. It's a receipt. 
It says, I, Dr. Alfred Every, on July 15, 2008, deliver to Steve Bonnet the artifacts found in the basement. In exchange, Mr. Bonnet transfers to the Every family, free of charge, the property of the building where the family business is actually located. The agreements will not be disclosed. Yours faithfully, Dr. Every. It's countersigned by Steve Bonnet, too. To which artifacts is Dr. Every referring? If the agreements have not been disclosed, the only one that would know anything about it is Uncle Steve. I'd better get over to his office to investigate. Told you, Steve. Weird, Steve's not here. In the meantime, I could inspect his office looking for the receipt of Dr. Every. It's so weird. There are no notes on these papers. They're all blank. What can they do? Wait a minute. There's a button under here. I could be wrong. But they seem to have been placed in the way to hide something. There's nothing. Let's see what happens by pressing it. I wasn't expecting this. I just thought it was a drawer with some kind of mechanism. And Steve knew about it. He, oh. I knew it! We all knew it! <sighs> That's why he friended him. Yup. And it's that it closed purple. Back automatically. There's probably another device in this room that makes it open. Why all this secrecy? And what's this room? Better take a look around. That's why it's this chair. And he knew about the treasure because of the... There's nothing useful here. Agreement. A rope is always useful. Yes, it is. Since your Uncle Steve is the one who took your daddy. You probably killed him. I don't want to take all of this with me. There are maps, routes, various notes. They represent months, or rather years, of uninterrupted work. It seems Steve is doing some research into the Adventure Galley, Kid's ship. There are maps, notes, excerpts from old journals and books. And what's this? It looks like some sort of diary. There's something inside. I don't think I'm mistaken. This is a piece of the map from Kid's crew. It's surely Every's, the last piece missing. Finally, the map is complete. On this piece, there are some coordinates. 47 degrees north by 78 degrees east. Brilliant! The coordinates are useless without the rest of the map. The light will guide you. 47 degrees north by 78 degrees east. It must have something to do with the old lighthouse. There's also a strange coin. Why is it here? What does Steve have to do with this story? There must be something I'm still missing. Let's see if there's an explanation in the diary. All right, Henry, okay. July 4th, 2008. Henry came back to Bone Town. He seemed like a kid on Christmas Eve. He said he has big news he wants to share with me. And then July 7th. Hard to believe Henry achieved his feat he finally found proof that the kid treasure we always dreamed of since we were kids really exists. July 9th, Henry revealed something more. One of the members of the crew appears to have been a servant, Chris Every. According to Henry's research, Every, after retiring from the pirate's life, moved here to Boonham. I have to stop by the old drugstore. They're the only Every still living here in Boonham. Maybe they know something and I might be able to give Henry a hand in his research. July 15. A stroke of luck. I asked Fred f for permission to rummage through all his old things in the basement. After a few hours, I happened to find what looked like an old piece of a map with some coordinates and a coin. And then the coordinates 47 degrees and 780. The coordinates point to the outskirts of Bone Town. In exchange, Fred wanted the property of the building. Four walls for priceless treasure seems like a fair exchange to me. July 18th. I revealed to Henry that I'd found the coordinates of the treasure. He seemed very hesitant. In his opinion, it couldn't be so easy, knowing kids' ingenuity. Ingenuity? It doesn't matter. I finally have the opportunity to make a fortune and write my name in history. Tomorrow I will tell Henry I'm going to start digging as soon as possible. So he's the one who's been digging and creating all the water issues. And he's using that as an excuse to keep searching and digging. July 20th. I think Henry's going mad. He confided to me that he wants to go public with the news of finding kids' map. 
I can't let him do that. Not now that I am so close to the treasure. I know what Henry has in mind. He's jealous of my discovery and as always he wants the full honor for himself. I'll try to talk to him again to convince him. His behavior towards me is changing. I see him increasingly taciturn and he doesn't share my ideas on how to use the treasure. It'd be good if someone checked on him down at the old inn. I'll make sure Bob and Jack keep an eye on him until he's here. Until he's here in Bone Town. Yeah, I think they're twins, Bob and Jack. 726. Yesterday I went with Henry to the old cliff near the lighthouse. I asked him what happened to the piece of map he found. He told me he put it in a safe place. After his upteenth refusal to cooperate with the research and excavations, I understood that he wanted the treasure all for himself. The rage took over. I attacked him, and during the fight, he fell off the cliff and never resurfaced. Yep. He killed him. I never wanted this to happen. Henry, for once, you just had to give space to me and my dreams. August 2nd. Still no trace of Henry's body. For the moment, it's better to keep a low profile to avoid suspicion. Elizabeth is heartbroken, and little Willie probably still hasn't realized what happened. Better this way. So I can't believe this. Steve knew. Actually, Steve is the architect of Dad's death, and all because of his <sighs> envy and the longing to find kids' treasure. To think they were so close, almost brothers. Dad really trusted him, but he should have guessed his changing, and Kid wasn't that stupid. All the pieces of the map are needed to find the treasure. I have to escape from here and unmask Steve. This diary will be the proof. Better go to the old lighthouse. The light will guide you. Let's hope that's true. Boss. Hey, boss. What's going on? Boss, we can't find the young Morgan anywhere. Impossible. He can't be volatilized. Continue to search. If he has his father's insight, he has surely discovered something that we've been missing till now. I'm going back to my office. This city needs a person able to guide it. <laughs> All right, let's go. It's Steve and the innkeeper. They're in collusion. I have to get out of here as soon as possible. hope this pauses the game. <laughs> After two months, I decided time has come to get back to work. The shock of Henry's disappearance seems to be waning. So, so May 12, 2009. Nothing yet. It's been months since I started digging around Bone Town, but there's no trace of the treasure. Impossible. The coordinates are right. August 5th, 2015. I had to resort to city funds to finance the digs. I'm close now. I know. There are only a few places left to dig. We have to be careful. Some of the locals have noticed the excavations. I had to lie. I assured them that they, the digs are due to the work of some unauthorized company. I had to tell the others to be even more secretive. So October 10, 2017. Even Bone Town's funds are about to run out. And on top of that, it seems our last dig rerouted the vein of water that fed the torrent which serves the city. It doesn't matter. It's a necessary sacrifice for the common good. I promise to devote part of the treasure to helping the city rise again from its ashes. In the meantime, I'll try to limit the damage with some makeshift solutions. So he's basically run the entire town into the current state it's in, using up all the money and everything. None of these yokels have the slightest clue of how to run a town hall. So if I'm careful, I can still spend the last remaining funds. Oh, Jesus. All right. I can't. First, I need to open it. Better let some fresh air in. Good idea. This seems to be the only possible way out. See you soon, Steve. And we just need to go to the lighthouse. Mm 
Not now that I've been able to recover all the pieces. Here it's written that Dr. Alfred Every gave a few artifacts to Steve Bonnet in exchange for the drugstore property. I'm curious to know what those artifacts were. It'd be good to investigate. Surely Steve could tell me something more. No. It's useless this way. Yeah. I don't really know how it works. There should be some instructions somewhere. Finally, the map is complete. There's also the signature of the cartographer, Tom Rayleigh. He really was a genius of cartographic drawings. Now I know why Steve wasn't able to find the treasure. Without the complete map, those coordinates are useless. I need to go to the lighthouse. The light will guide you 47 degrees north, 78 degrees east. a hole. Better not. Not now that I've been able to recover all the pieces. Not now that I've been able to recover all the pieces. Is that the last? So it is built down. <sighs> Not now that I've been able to recover all the pieces. Really? Not now that better not. Better not. Not now that I've been able to recover all the pieces. I don't know how to make it work. Yeah. I wouldn't know what to do of it. It has lots of uses, but not this one. I don't need it here. I don't think that would work. So they put me here. I have a few questions about this note. Not now. I have to test some final things before registering the patent for my new drink. Goodbye. See you soon. Not now that I've been able to recover all the pieces. Not now that I've been able to re Better not. Better not. It's useless this way. It's useless this way. Too many things. I can't take them all. I can't use them this way. I can't. I would have to cross the square where the inn is, with a high risk of being discovered. I don't need them. This... I don't think they would be useful to me, but right now, that's not among the things I aim to do. It's a souvenir photo booth and some posters belonging to the Lafitte Park. There's also a super promotion. What? 
It says, amusement park entrance to the right, main road to the left, lighthouse straight ahead. I don't think I can use anything else. I could stand in line waiting or I could spend... Hmm. There's nothing else useful. So there's a control box and there's a light in it. So why can't we just... Not now that I've been able to recover all the pieces. Not now that I've been able to recover all so the pieces. I can't combine the map. Here it's written that Dr. Alfred Every. I'm curious to. Surely Steve could tell. This doesn't look like a normal coin. It doesn't show the date it was coined or any other indications. I don't know how it could be used. It's useless this way. 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 I can't use them this way. <sighs> it's useless this way. It's useless this way. It's useless this way. I don't know how to make it work. It's useless this way. Mm. Not now that I've been able to... Better not. I don't really know how it works. There should be some instructions somewhere. Yeah. 47, 78. Light will guide you. At the lighthouse. I wouldn't know what to do with it. Using this staircase, I'll go back down. It's a rudimentary control box. I think it adjusts the position of the lighthouse. There's a sort of map with coordinates, but there are no other indications. Yeah, so let's use map. Not now that I've been able to recover all the pieces. Better not. I need this to frame Steve. So who am I supposed it's to It's useless tell? this way. It has lots of uses. I should save the game. <laughs> this entire time I never saved the game. Alright. So who do I talk to? I don't want to open it doesn't seem healthy. It has lots of uses, but not this one. It's a multi-purpose tool. According to the blacksmith, this serves to tighten, bolt, and also open some special locks. I need this to frame Steve. The 
Bye. Bye. It won't let me go to the librarian. I can't. I would have to cross the square where the inn is, with a high risk of being discovered. I can't. I would have. I can't. I would have to cross the square where the inn is, with a high risk of being discovered. I can't. I would have to cross the square where the inn is, with a high risk of being discovered. I can't go there. I'll find Steve's henchmen. I can't. Steve would find me immediately. So I'm supposed to go to the lighthouse. I don't know what to do with those. There's no like instructions in here, are there? There's nothing else inside. Yeah, so I have to go just to the house. There's nothing else useful. From here, I go back to the amusement parks. Not now that I've been able to recover all the pieces. Better not. I'm not an arsonist. I'm not an arsonist. I know the coordinates. Why can't really I put them into the control? There should be some instructions somewhere. a hole. I can't go there. I'll find st uh, I'm here already. I wouldn't know what to do. 1699. The light will guide you. I guess it's praise for the job this lighthouse had to do. I wonder how many ships it helped dock safely. There's also a list of things to do. One, start. Two, steer. It doesn't seem difficult. It's a rudimentary control box. I think it adjusts the position of the lighthouse. There's a sort of map with coordinates, but there are no other indications. Okay, let's try. Start and steer. 47 North. This is the point marked on the map. Let's see in what direction the lighthouse is pointing. Good. Very well. The lighthouse is positioned according to the instructions on the map. The light points in the direction of the cemetery. Better go check. I don't think the X meant to indicate these wooden boards. It'd be better to remove them. Once there was a legend, to access the afterlife, a boat toll was required. I don't need it here. Boat toll? Uh uh. Maybe this coin wasn't used as currency in the earthly world, but rather to pay the ferryman for a journey to the afterlife. Let's try.
where did I end up? It seems like a natural cave. So is Dad down here? Trapped for ten years? I can't believe it! This is a colony of Mexican psilocybe. One of the most powerful hallucinogenic mushrooms in the world. Professor Jones showed one of these in class when explaining Aztec rituals. Their sour odor is unmistakable, and the conditions for growth seem to be ideal. Humid and lacking sun. Only a strong adrenaline rush can counteract their effect. They're supposed to proliferate only in a few areas in Central America. How did they end up here? I'm also wondering who put these wood barrels here. His dad. I'd rather not touch them. This species of mushroom is extremely dangerous. The Mexican psilocybe, even if taken in small doses, causes addiction and induces hallucinations and trance states. Do I have anything to collect it? It's a colony of Mexican psilocybe. The Aztecs and Mayans used them to enter a trance during certain sacred rituals. They're extremely powerful hallucinogenic mushrooms. According to some recent studies, they also have an extremely high calorific value. I don't want to dive over there. I can't even see the bottom. It can't be. Uh. The hull outline. The colors on the bulkheads. A red nightmare sailed on the sea. Its slender shape induced all to stop and admire it. The historian Jean de Leon described the adventure galley this way. This is it. The Adventure Galley. Kid's ship. The famous Adventure Galley. Rumors say that Kid launched raids in all the seas and that the Adventure Galley was the richest pirate ship around. So they didn't have to bury it. They just docked the ship in hiding. Who dares? But, but, who said that? Who dares board my ship without permission? Who's talking? Are you a ghost? Show yourself! How dare you give orders to me? Only I can give orders. This dad. It can't be. I can't believe this. My... my god. Dad? Dad! Dad, is that really you? I have no sons. I, the Adventure Galley's captain. My name is only whispered in both the old and new worlds. Some people call me the Scourge of the Seas. I'm William Kidd. Who are you? Don't you recognize He's me? He's on the mushrooms. It's me, Willie. <laughs> what tone is this? Boy, remember who you're talking to. I'm Kidd. What happened to you? You're not Kidd. You're Henry. Henry Morgan. Don't you ever mention that name in my presence. More. And Blackbeard are the reason my crew and I are here. If it wasn't for their betrayal, right now we'd be the masters of Tortuga. Instead, Morgan and Blackbeard mutinied, hired their own crew and attacked us. But nobody can take possession of William Kidd's treasure. Remember well these two names, because they're the worst enemies of Kidd's crew. Morgan and Blackbeard, what I wouldn't give to meet you face to face. And now, speak plainly. For what reason are you here? Dap, Captain, I'm the new deckhand you were waiting for. It's about time. You have permission to board and immediately get to work. The bridge needs a clean sweep. Ask the quartermaster to give you everything you need to make this ship shine. I'm going back to my cabin now. I have to plot the route for our next destination. Tortuga is waiting for us. What's happening here? How could Dad still be alive? Why doesn't he recognize me? I better get on the galley right now. I have to get my dad back home. So I have to get him to uh, get the highly ship is completely rush. deserted. I guess Dad, or Kid as he now considers himself, is in his cabin to the stern of the ship. It's a cannon from the 17th century. Even if I wanted to, I couldn't use it. It hasn't got a wick. I don't want to shoot a cannon.
What's happening now? I hope it's something important. Captain, can you tell me your story? Is this the reason you embarked? I hoped to understand how you ended up here, Dad. I have no time to get angry now. Go back to your duties. You can hear my story from the other members of the crew. There are rats inside the magazine. That's the reason you've been brought on, Deckhand. Try to earn your daily rations. Anything else? Someone stole the last barrel of grog. What? This is really serious. But the Quartermaster can take care of it. Anyway, no less than a hundred lashes with the Cat of Nine Tails for the guilty party. Stealing the grog? The nerve. Anything else? Sorry, Captain. I'll leave you to your business. Good. Go back to your duties, Deckhand. An old three-cornered hat. I think it belonged to some captain, or someone from the upper class anyway. Some well-preserved clothes. So I gotta make daddy dread on a so that he it doesn't can strike me as the best the time to start reading treatises on 17th century fashion. It looks like a voodoo doll. Some prankster guest of Kid must have left it here after his stay. Better not touch it. I wouldn't want its curse to remain active on some descendant of the represented person. Okay, so we're not supposed to wear the clothes. According to a chronicle of the period, these wooden mannequins were used to make the crew size appear larger. The fear factor and the number of armed men visible was usually enough to win a battle without even fighting. Somebody carved the name they gave to this mannequin in the wood. Jimbo. I have to find a better use for them. I have to find a better use for them. I have to find a better use for them. I'd only risk ruining it this way. Hmm. Better not. The ship is docked on this side. There's a risk that the shot could ricochet and cause damage. It's a relatively new cannon. Probably after the last battle, Kid replaced the cannons that weren't working anymore. This old sword could come in handy. Maybe I can learn how to handle it. If I'm not mistaken, near my house they just opened a school. The Swordmaster. That should guarantee success. Yuck. The hilt is all sticky. Time must have corroded the handle's material. It's one of the oldest cannons on the ship. It has probably never been replaced. You can tell by the notches engraved on it. Every notch shows a battle in which it was shot. Eight notches, so eight battles. An interesting tidbit of information. I guess it's still armed and ready to fire. Why on earth should I leave through this hole? It's one of the oldest cannons on the ship. It has probably never been replaced. You can tell by the notches engraved on it. Every notch shows a battle in which it was shot. Eight notches, so eight battles. An interesting tidbit of information. I guess it's still armed and ready to fire. This cannon is ready to shoot. I should have a valid reason to do that. It's locked. If, as I suppose, this is the door to the hold, they have surely reinforced it. I obviously need the key to enter. I could ask the captain if he knows where I can find it. Okay. What's happening now? I hope it's something important. I'll need the key to access the hold. You still aren't an official member of the crew. You must earn this honor. Every new member must get to know the ship and gain the trust of the rest of the crew. I think I already saw everything and talked with everyone. Let's see if this is true of you. 
Answer oh, these three simple questions. First, name at least one member of the crew, except the captain, that you met on board. Oh, Jimbo. Jimbo. Second question. According to which code have the rules of life on board been drafted? Grog and other delights? Third and last question. How many battles have we faced until today? Eight. I'm sorry. You're not ready yet. The answers are all around you. Dang it. Sorry, Captain. I'll leave you to your business. Good. Go back to your duties, deckhand. It's one of the galley's cannons. So I got the second one wrong. These are books on dressmaking in the 1600s. Evidently, Kid cared about being up to date on the evolution of European costumes. Or some guest left them during his holiday on the adventure galley. It's an old cannon. It will be more than 300 years old. At least as old as the Adventure Galley. It would be better to use the stairs. So I did everything here. I don't want to dive over there. I can't even see the bottom. I don't want to go back now. I don't want to dive over there. have to find a better use for them. Just keep trying to like get it right. What's happening now? I'll need the key. You still aren't an official member. Every new member must get to know. I think I already saw. Let's see if this is true of you. Answer these three. First, name at least one. Jim. Jimbo. Second question. According to which code have the rules of life on board been drafted? Surely the Atlantic Codex by Leonardo. Third and last question. How many battles have we faced until today? It was never replaced and it was eight. Eight. I'm sorry. You're not ready yet. The answers are all around you. I'll need the used every- I think- Let's see- First. Jimbo. Second question. According to which code have the rules of life on board been drafted? Hmm. The Little Prince? Third and last question. How many battles have we faced until today? Eight. I'm sorry. You're not ready yet. The answers are all around you. <sighs> sorry, Captain. I'll- Good. Go- It's one of the galleys. It's an old cannon. It will be more than 300 years old. At least as old as the adventure galley. Got it. Oh, crack. Uh -huh. 
I can't take it. Don Quixote de la Mancha. It's one of the first editions. Life on the Seas, Rules and Tasks on Board a Ship, by William Kidd. It seems Kidd was writing a treatise. Interesting. <clears throat> and we can drop something into his drink. They look like nautical charts, probably routes of the adventure galley. Dad looks busy. He completely got into the role. I can't take them. Dad is seated at the captain's desk. There's a strange smell coming from the cabin. Life on the Seas, Rules and Tasks on Board a Ship by William Kidd. It seems Kidd was writing a treatise. Interesting. It's a wooden mannequin. There's an inscription. Jimbo. They used it, together with other mannequins, to make the crew size look its largest. What's happening now? I hope it's something important. I'll need the key to access the hold. You still aren't an official member of the crew. You must earn this honor. Every new member must get to- I think I- Let's see- First, name at least one member of the crew, except the captain, that you met on board. Jimbo. Second question. According to which code have the rules of life on board been drafted? Life on the Seas, by Kid. Third and last question. Yay. How many battles have we faced until today? Eight. Well done. You have the honor of becoming- one of Kid's pirates. Among us, there's a pact of mutual friendship and loyalty. You deserve the key to access the hold. Yay. Thanks, Captain. I'm honored to be part of your crew. Sorry, Captain. I'll leave you to your business. Good. Go back to your duties, deckhand. Perfect. Wow! The legends were true. This is the result of years of piracy in all the seas of the world. It's a mask. It doesn't seem to come from the Americas. I think it's the loot plundered from the assault on some ship coming from Europe. And I'm just gonna take it. <laughs> they will surely be full of doubloons or jewels. But now, I have other priorities. I'm not interested in taking these coffee beans. I'm already wide awake, especially after finding my dad. Coffee beans. Kid and his crew knew their value very well. But I need that for the... It surely dad. contains some spices. They were very precious goods. I don't need it now. It's a golden mask. It's of European origin. Probably the loot from some raid. It won't be useful like this. dated and cataloged, even if I'd like to dive into it, like in the comic books. I need to light that. We need it. I have the matches for it. What's happening now? 
Sorry, Captain. I'll leave you to your business. Good. Go back to your duties, deckhand. So am I supposed to get mushrooms somehow? It's not helpful to me like this. I'd only risk root. It won't be useful. Hmm. I'm not an arsonist. <laughs> it has lots of uses, but not this one. It's not helpful to me like this. It won't be useful like this. I don't think that would work. So... Where am I supposed to set this up? It's not helpful to me like this. 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 <laughs> I'd only risk ruining it this way. I don't need it here. Not here. A real sea dog would have never sat on one of the cannons turned to port. They were extremely superstitious. They thought that turning their back to the mainland was a sign of contempt, and that they would have been punished by the sea. This old mannequin was used to deceive the enemy. The more mannequins there were, the larger and more dangerous the crew seemed. I could use it to distract my dad and enter his cabin. If I could disguise it as a pirate, I could make it pass for one of Kid's most bitter enemies. If I'm not mistaken, he named Morgan and Blackbeard earlier. I really see it as a Morgan. They seem the right size. I don't think there was much variety of measurements on a pirate ship. It's starting to look like a member of the crew. A classy touch. The hat makes it look more important. This gives it an aura of mystery. Let's try to make it meaner. Discreetly threatening. I placed it here for a specific reason. It's useless to move it. What's happening now? I hope it's something important. Captain, there's Morgan on the bridge. Morgan. Damn scoundrel. You finally came back for the final showdown. It's really you, foul traitor. What nerve you dare show. By returning to the <laughs> ship you turned your back on after it welcomed you as a child. Prepare yourself to face my wrath. While Dad is busy, I can access the captain's cabin. You won't get far. Seriously, you can't knock over a mannequin. I'm sorry. <laughs> It's the statue of a dragon. It was also Kid's nickname. Other than Scourge of the Seas, he was known as the Sea Dragon for the firepower of his cannons. Better leave it where it is. I don't need it to get Dad out of here. Kid, the Sea Dragon. The Adventure Galley was equipped with extraordinary weapons, which is the reason it became legendary. And you find glass in the chalice. These are the nautical charts of the galley. They will be worth a fortune. With these, it would be possible to retrace the ship's routes and identify the places it visited. I can't deal with this right now. 
It's more urgent that I find a way to get out of here with Dad. Dad has placed the logbook to protect the chalice's contents. Since I'm here, I better take them both. The same acrid smell of the mushrooms I saw in the cave emanates from the chalice. This could explain many things. Dad managed to survive all these years on a mixture of water and mushrooms. Even in small quantities, they sustain any organism that feeds on them and provide vital energy. On the other hand, they're also a powerful hallucinogen. Dad's state of shock following his fall from the cliffs, combined with the sight of Kid's ship, made him believe that he was the captain. If he keeps drinking from this chalice, he might never wake up. I have to get rid of this chalice. Professor Jones taught us that a strong adrenaline rush will counteract the mushroom's effect. First the chalice and then the adrenaline, one thing at a time. It's a metal chalice. Dad uses it to drink. Inside it is a mixture of water and hallucinogenic mushrooms. It's the Adventure Galley's logbook. My first priority is Dad, though. Then I can study it calmly. It's time to end the game. Don't show your face again, Morgan. Look who's back. Henry and his kid, the young Morgan. How did you manage to get here, Steve? It wasn't difficult. I was looking for you all over town, and suddenly, what a stroke of luck. I saw you entering the crypt in the graveyard. I waited for you a long time. Eventually, I decided to enter and I saw the tunnel. Henry, I didn't think you were still alive. I am partly relieved. My regret was consuming me. In the end, you were right. Kid's ship was docked here in Bone Town. How dare you come aboard my ship without permission, and offend a member of my crew? Who are you? Henry, don't you recognize me? It's me. Dad! Captain! It's Blackbeard! He was also able to get on board. Blackbeard! Yes, I recognize you now. I see that you and Morgan are still inseparable. You'll end up just like him. Henry! Not again! You leave me no choice! I understand, Henry. I'm ready. Let's see what you can do. On guard! I have to get rid of it so that the mushrooms won't proliferate inside. I have to get rid of it so that the mush... Uh, the... the waterfall thingy. Let's see what you can do. On go! I don't need in the well, so I'll just kind of just dump it over the actual mushrooms. I have to get rid of it so that the mushrooms won't proliferate inside. That's not a good idea. It could resurface in the vicinity of the ship. I have to find a way to get rid of it permanently. In the cannon, shoot it out of the ship. Let's see what you can do. do two things in one stone. It should work. It's not a cannonball, so it won't have such a devastating effect. And now the coup de grace. Fire! I did it! Heck, I didn't see that coming. The racket from the cannon was more devastating than the shell itself. Better go back on deck and alert Dad. <laughs> you don't stand a chance this time. We'll see. I admit it. You defeated me, Henry. A victory over a man who was once a friend has no value for me. Captain, I'm sorry to interrupt your duel, but I think we need to go. The cave is collapsing. Captain, what are you talking about? The adrenaline caused by the duels with Jimbo and Steve is reducing the effect of the mushrooms. Hurry, let's go. There's not much time. Not before seeing the treasure. I've never been so close to it, and I have no intention of leaving now. But Steve, not now. There will be other opportunities in the future. Yes, Steve. The kid's right. Let's run while we still can. Henry, 
Do you recognize me? Steve, is that you? Oh, I'm, I'm not sure what's happening. Uh, it feels like I just woke up from a long dream. There's no time, Dad. Let's go. Dad? H how come? Who? You go. I want kids' treasure. It represents my whole life's work. Henry, just know that I didn't want any of this to happen. Steve! Farewell. Dad, let's go! Okay, I'll follow. He could survive down there and bring it back, just like his dad did. There's nothing to say that he's not, that he's gonna die. He can just sail out of there <laughs> in the ship with all of the treasure. Dad, I finally found you. Willie, is that really you? How, how long has it been? Ten years, Dad. Ten very long years. Ten years. So, this means you received my letter? Yes, but why did you only have it delivered after all this time? I sensed that something was wrong with Steve. I could see it in his behavior. When I realized that the search for Kit's treasure was becoming an obsession, I started to suspect that he could hurt our family. I hid my piece of the map and decided to deal with it. You are a Morgan. You have the spirit of adventure in your blood. But you are only five, and I didn't want to trouble Mom with such a burden. I hoped that in ten years Steve's obsession would vanish. I decided that, if anything ever happened to me, you, after turning the necessary age, would be ready to pick up from where I left off. So I sent the post-dated letter. I read Steve's diary. I know you fell off the cliff. How did you survive? A stroke of luck. I fell right into the sea, and the tide pushed me toward an underwater passage that led directly to the cave. I wanted to find a way to get back to the surface, but I had to recover my strength first. The last thing I remember is some really delightful mushrooms. Then, it's all a blank. Dad, let's go back home. We have a lot of things to talk about. Plus, we have to find a way to tell Mom without making her faint. Elizabeth. Yes, we should go back. Ready to leave Bone Town once and for all? Bone Town is not a bad town. As soon as the legal formalities are arranged, we could think about coming back here. Remember, deep inside the cave is still the Adventure Galley. Who knows how much it can still tell the world about the Golden Age of Piracy. Speaking of which, when I took the chalice, I also brought the ship's logbook with me. Here it is. So is that a sequel? <laughs> Yay! We finished the game. If you're still here at the end, I thank you for sticking around and watching me play the game. Willie Morgan, I did have a lot of fun playing it. I do like these, you know, puzzle solving and adventure games. And it does bring back a lot of memories from playing them in childhood and growing up. And I will see you in the next one.